Beans and Rice audience, welcome back to the show where it is impromptu comedy, along with a lot of satire and maybe some advice at the very end. Yes. New year, new me, fucking lies. Same us, new year, maybe new stuff. My body, my fucking choice, okay? Don't tell me what to do. I'm still a celibate king, you know? Come on. I'm resolutions? Gonna... You never even yeah. solved the problems you had in 2022. Yeah. Now you have new resolutions? Oh, You're no. not resolving shit. I'm cutting all my friends off. I don't want to be on social media posting about it on social media. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to take an absence of it. Shut the fuck up. Get off of Instagram. <laughs> I'm going to take more trips, you know? If you have to yell to get attention from people, they weren't paying attention to begin with. Yeah, come on, man. Come Anyways, on. what day is it? The the third Reich? The third Reich. Reich. Okay, the thigh. Yeah. Uh, third Twi night of January 2023. Oh. It's almost January 6th, you know? Almost. We're going to be at the Pride Parade or what? We're going to storm uh, the Capitol. We're going to storm the Capitol like three kings. <laughs> and we're going to have our baby savior, Alice, with us. Oh, yeah. If she decides to go. Who's going to be doing blackface to be Balthasar, you think? Who? Alice, maybe Alice, you don't think so? Oh, she, if she wants to be. Yeah? Yeah. You think you would do blackface for us on the 6th, Alice? Um, We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. She's going to rope, you know? It's what are they right. going to tell you? Wear, oh, it's like my, a mask? I just came out from a spa day. That's how patriotic I am. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a mad, 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 mud mask. There we go. Mud a mask. mud mask. Mud you know, mask. that's what they call it now, you know? But we're going to do, Goddamn we're going to get a caravan. And not that kind of caravan, okay? Because we're patriots. We're going to get a Dodge caravan to State Street. You know what I mean? Yep. We're going to do the caravan gang. So if you guys know of people that have Dodge caravans, we're only going to be driving caravans uh g patriots and what else was well i don't know what else we're gonna bring but we know that shit's gonna go through the stratosphere okay? <laughs> a couple of stratuses you think yep, so? a couple of stratuses. oh yeah dude maybe somebody you know can step into my fucking caliber you know well okay. maybe we can get trish stratus to come show oh, us her jugs yeah oh that'll be for nice. the cause dude when we paint a nice like a uh, red white and blue even though she's canadian on them yeah you know, that'll be so nice absolutely and then what do we do when we get to the capital what are we gonna do like well, how do we storm it like weather Stormy modifications Daniels. weather modifications <laughs> now we're talking to the hobby hey you know he's trying to this is the new year for him i mean know? the government does control the weather anyways yeah that's so what i'm saying storm the capital make it rain a little bit on the capital yep. make Throw it a rain. bunch of cash <laughs> yep. dude that would be cool huh that'd be we nice storm the capital that way i would we take all the money from the big corporations you know wing nuts wing coop buffalo wild wing who else us uh i don't know but we tax it 15 percent. 15 percent. yep and then we just get their money, and then we put it in a money throwing machine. Yeah, the we just the Uno shuffle cards, you know, you know that <laughs> Uno shuffle thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we carry around with us. Oh, that'll be pretty cool. We throw it on there, and then what do we do? What are we gonna have there? Hot dogs? What else? Chitri. Chitri. Oh, Chitri. We have a couple of chitris. What are you gonna bring, Javi? The Goya beans, bro. Oh, the Goya. There you go. I mean, I will already be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you season them right. You know. Yep. Well, what about you, Alice? What are you going to bring to the January 6th to the party? Bananas. Bananas? Bananas. Are those American? No, uh, they are not. No, they're fucking... Sa what are they? From El Salvador or some shit like that? Maybe. Yeah? There's Where are bananas from, actually? No, they're... Uh, Do you guys want to take no a guess and Alice can look? Somewhere South American. No, come on. Say a country, though. Let's see. Fuck, Salvador. Good. You're going to say Salvador? I'm going to say... Uh, like an importer? Like uh, whoever we're getting our bananas from, I want to say. I'm gonna say Costa Rica. Oh fuck, that was a good uh, one. Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, yeah. I forgot Asia. That's after stuff. you eat them. Most people, little Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say. You said yeah. Costa Rica. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Oh uh, fuck, I'm gonna say Venezuela. No, 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 they don't, they don't got nothing. Food, Sorry, bro. They don't got food. I forgot. <laughs> Fucking socialist. Who did you say again? <laughs> Costa Rica. Oh fuck, man. I'm gonna go with Honduras. Come on, host. Come That's on. A good one. Which one are you gonna get? I already said. Come on. Really? Malaysia. All right. Who do you got, Alice? I already told you, Salvador. Salvador. But on Google, it says, bananas originate from tropical regions across the globe from South and Central America to India, China, and Africa. Awesome. Technically, all of us were right. Can yeah. who, we all, we all, <laughs> who was really right? We, we all really picked right. tropical areas. <laughs> yeah. so. Malaysia Airlines, you know? Yeah, so Hopefully, they're in order for your bananas. From it there. doesn't even rain there because it's underwater. Mm -hmm. It's all the water it needs. Yeah, it just says bananas grow in hot, tropical climates. Yeah. Level of humidity soaked. Oh, yeah. You, know? you think they have bananas in Florida or no? Yeah, they do. Yeah, you've been to Florida, Hoss? <laughs> I was born there. <laughs> 
But uh, what else? Oh, one thing that before, if you're new watching, you know, don't get upset. We're just kidding most of the time. But uh, that's why most, I said satire. Okay. Yeah. So some people they're fucking idiots. They're barely watching this. I don't know how they ran into the fucking video. You know, these fucking little Twitter twats are over here. You know. So why don't you start us off? Maybe we can uh, do a little introduction <laughs> so they can get familiar with us, host. Welcome. If you've never been here, if you've been here before, it's likely you know the butter pecan Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Next to me. Wait, wait, before you say, I'll oh, sorry to interrupt you. Okay. Well, now we have a camera, so people can get familiar. Yes. To who you know who we're talking about, but mate, you know now you can go ahead and proceed. Sorry. We have a bald beauty. He is uh, the Zen master, peaceful protester, Jimmy, Jimmy Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki, right here. Okay, and then uh, where are we gonna go on top of Jimmy? We can go on top of Jimmy. But <laughs> behind Jimmy, you know she's covered though. You know even though she's on top of Jimmy, maybe you see her in a little bit of a blanket. You know she's matching me today. I actually got this little Rakumao green. You know. I just need a little red cape, you know? <laughs> but from the native community, who do we got, horse? She is the seeker of nightmares and the speaker of dreams. We have Okay, now we're going to go under Rakumau, you know? We're all the perverts lurk. How about you go under Jimmy Tatsumaki? I'll go under Jimmy Tatsumaki, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's somebody that we're a little bit offended with, you know? A little bit perturbed He's been with. telling us for the fourth time, oh... Winter is coming, you know, winter. And he came, you know, but not here, you know? <laughs> no. And who do we got? Because I don't want, you know, he wasn't, he didn't do his job last week. Nope. I checked the chat. He wasn't there. You know, he's, oh, I got FMLA, you know, my bunion. Dude, you didn't even got a fucking bunion. You know what I mean? Who do we got, host? I think he said my brisket, to be fair. His but, brisket? <laughs> yeah. We have uh, supposedly the protector of the chats, Larry the, the winter, winter soldier. soldier okay he didn't even get his award i might nullify the fucking award okay larry if you don't show up this fucking week maybe sh we can uh, put him on a final you think so we can put him on a final final warning yeah final if you don't shape it up larry if you make one more promise that you're gonna show up and you don't you know we're gonna revoke your privileges you know? We're going to capillaries. <laughs> yeah. And in the chamber of secrets, you know? <laughs> you better see a cardiologist because like Avi said, we're going to capillary. <laughs> Shout out to the cappuccinos, you know? But speaking about cappuccinos, you know? On top of uh, Larry, to the right of Larry, next to Rakumao, to the left of host in real life, to the right of host on screen, wearing the canary yellow. Who do we got, host? We have the uh, fetus slayer. Where you're, when your gassoon's a little tight, who do you call? You call her because she has the jaws of life. <laughs> or anti-life, really. The jaws of anti-life. She is the mobile abortionist, Nissan, Nissan Hatake, Hatake Abormoto. Okay, and behind her, you know, a lot of her employees are getting fucking sick, you know? They had a zero COVID uh, policy at work. Yep. You know, and now everybody has it. You know what I mean? So if you order something from China, why is it delayed, host? late because there's no workers out there it's contaminated with strains of covid that we've already gone through they oh, haven't yeah. it's creating a massacre she owns melissa's factory and that's normally where a lot of the shipping comes from through amazon through walmart through best buy and all those forgotten retailers but it's one of the Saipan sisters. Saipan sister 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 give me the news who's giving you the news today host? uh the net knitter Melissa's. Melissa's. Oh, the net knitter from, from Melissa's factory. factory. <laughs> Melissa, Sun Wukong Carter. Okay, now we can go, you know, uh, to the left of Melissa, to the right of me in real life, to the left of me on screen. When I'm ill and I need a pill. He's got the pill to Ibiza. It is Jose's healthcare expert, healthcare, healthcare provider. provider. Filomeno El Hibarichon. <laughs> you know, and then next to Filomeno, you know, wearing the Rakumau green, you know, I got the little, got this little nice hat right here, the little Paul Bunyan, you know, from, uh, where am I from again? Mexico City, Mexico, okay? You thought I forgot? The dark one, the one and only, host Beefy. Six, 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 six. La, la bestia. bestia. Okay, and you can't talk about the bestia? Without the bella. You know, without the bella or the beauty, you know? Correct. But she is the, well, she won, you know, the uh, employee of the year. 2022's employee of the year. 2022's employee, employee of the year. The Wizard of Oz. Ice, ice Agent, Agent Alice. Alice. Emphasis, Emphasis on, on the ice. ice. Hi, you guys. Indeed. 
Welcome to 2023. You know, and somebody that's excited about 2023, who is it, us? That's the amount of, that's his body count, and not the kind you probably think, okay? <laughs> it is the Munich, Munich Monster, Monster, the later host and lad, the Wiener Snitchel Snatcher, Gustafsson Schweinsteiger. Hey. Hey. You know? Schweinsteiger. And I think he's happy right now, you know? Yeah, it's pretty happy. Christmas finally ended. Dude, he was fucking pissed off. He's like, Christmas, we found out fucking Jesus wasn't real last week, you know? Dude, I couldn't celebrate. People, oh, you know, the Star of David and shit. Go fuck yourself. You know, I couldn't. Correct. They're like, oh, can you pray? You know? Was I praying anymore, Hoss? Not to him. Yeah. Hobby was, oh, let's go to church. Everything that Hobby taught me about church, we basically busted the myth. They don't even know Jesus' own birthday. You Without know? even trying. Yeah. No wonder at Pony, you know, when we went to the Christmas thing, he was uh, playing with the sheep and stuff like that. He was grabbing them out of the thing. Yep. He was trying to warn me that that wasn't real you know yep. he's like these are fucking toys you idiot okay these guys are just in your imagination you know but somebody that knows el pony somebody that takes care of him right now still paying for el pony's bills <laughs> we got the 2022 leading candidate for employee of, of the year, year. runner-up runner-up for uh um, so in 2022's runner-up for employee, employee of, of the year, year the omega from, from the bodega, bodega mr j48 Javi. Javi. Viva Cristo Rey, guys. Let's go. Okay, we got a blessing, though. You know, we did you get a little blessing. bit of a blessing. Nice. Yeah. I haven't met at Christ, you know? <laughs> yeah, we've talked about people not reading. It looks like you have some literature next no. to you. What do you got? I got I got this 2,040-year-old uh, this oh, book oh, man. in my hand. You know? old book. It's older than the earth. But it has stories from B.C., doesn't it? <laughs> in there? <laughs> What the fuck, man? It's you older know? than hey, the, the earth. Book, the book is not that old. Come on, you know? <laughs> the earth, oh, that's all the specific stories, book. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. This specific book is not that oh, old. Okay. But you know what? I have the what good book. The good book? <laughs> it made it to 2023. Let's go. Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo. You know, that's pretty nice. It's a good book, you know? It's a very good book. But I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but, you know, I do have a confession today. That's why my energy's been a little bit off. Uh, so if I feel a little bit weird. Why I haven't been wanting to show my eyes right now is because oh man, they're not glowing for a reason, you know. I can stare at you now, unlike last you week. You can stare at me, so I'm I'm feeling a little bit shameful, a little bit bashful, oh, but man. one of the celibate kings, you know, has fallen. I just busted Victim. a nut, you know. Okay, yeah. So oh, I, I busted gosh. a nut, you know. Number nine. Number nine. So I'm Damn. nine nuts. God, I've been doing so. Here's how I thought about it. I do one nut a month at the beginning of the month to get it out of the system. Okay. That's kind of been my cheat code. You know what I mean? Like, that way I can just wing it the rest of the... That's why you're at nine since November. Well, it was November. I did November eight. was seven. <laughs> well, November math. I did seven, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's November true. I did seven in like three days. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> I burned through the chamber. You know? I was walking. Oh, did you spring your groin? You know? That's what smoke and mirrors refers yeah. to. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and then only in November, I only had one. Well, no, no, in December, I only had one. Okay. And then January, dude, I was... But, dude, what's so weird about this? That January was, just started. Yeah, well... It's been two days. <laughs> he just told you his theory. Yeah. gets it out at the beginning of the month. I get it, but I wasn't planning on doing it, you know, but... Mm. He's just like, God. And you know what? I was Do actually. people plan that? I was actually disappointed. You know what I mean? You know, today's going to be the day I bust a nut. God. <laughs> like, I didn't know. I you know? planned this day for weeks. I can't remember something <laughs> Between me on. I two think and I had four, another... I'm going to have this, you know, meeting by myself. Yeah, man. I was there, you know? Make sure in I have another appointment. Solitary confinement. You know? <laughs> it's him and Manuela. You know, it's a very intimate meeting. So, yeah, I was like, oh. What's on today's planner? <laughs> what, what is it? What is this joystick? You know what I mean? Let me check my three o'clock. Yeah. And it brought me a lot of joy, you know? There for a couple of seconds, you know? And then I felt horrible, dude. You were reflecting on your life? Dude, after, dude, it's never happened to me before, but literally, like, after I busted, I felt so disappointed Well, well welcome to the rest of most men. <laughs> Javi's talked about it. I've talked about it before. Because yeah. we're like, oh, you feel bad? And I go, yeah. Really? You, you guys like, feel bad when you bust? Yeah, honestly. Well, now that I've been a celibate king, dude, I felt bad. Like, it's never happened before. You know, it's like, oh, I bust. I'm good, you know? But there, I've been so productive, not even busting or watching porn. Now, I didn't watch porn, you know? I came to my imagination, you know? But then didn't come to my senses, obviously. <laughs> but In a world <laughs> of pure <laughs> imagination. Yeah, but I was like, I woke up productive, you know? I got strong. You know, I've been doing 80 push-ups, you know? Yeah. 
just been like a like a best you know yeah i got out there shoveled the snow i feel energetic i'm like oh man i'm still you know yeah i'm still beaming and i freaking busted i was like oh man why did he do that Jose yeah. beefy, you know no but alice that's true men have like this uh sensation of i'm not even saying like it's not a good sensation it's, it's, like just, it's almost like you're disappointed yeah, yeah like, you're, you're not like, supposed uh, to ew. not in the feeling but like just the idea that you did that huh. yeah like you let yourself down now you're sitting there you know i gotta wipe my you know you're just like, oh, <laughs> you gotta mom, wipe man. your stuff off it's like it's almost a sense of grounding where you you realized what was was that worth it, it? even worth yeah. it yeah like all it felt, this energy it came felt out great for the two or the three seconds and then you're back to reality yeah, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not. It's like a very shitty drug. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, the best. It it's a drug with like the greatest hit for one moment, and then you and just like, crash. So like heroin. Worse yeah. than heroin, yeah. though, because you don't that lasts for like at least a minute, you know. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's like instant sure. gratification for like two seconds, and then and some then of you them pass fall asleep standing yeah. up, you know. Yeah, I mean, I've never lost my teeth. And I've not lost, like, you know, housing or a bunch of money. <laughs> so my hair, 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 so. hair oh, yeah. Just self-respect, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I actually felt, you know, I was like, damn, bro, I let... And then I, as soon as I noticed, I'm like, damn, I let holes down. I, you know, I was like, I felt bad, you know? Oh, so, no, you'll never let me down. <laughs> so now in my head, it's like, dude, now that I, that I felt that bad, it's like, I don't even know, like, when I'm going to come again, like, jerking off, to be yeah. honest, you know? Like, I don't know if I want to go through that feeling, you know? If it's not, like... If I'm going to end my celibacy, that's the only way that I think I'm going to bust, you know? With Hopefully. somebody else. I think so. I don't think that... I don't know if I can jerk off anymore, man. It's not a good feeling. You know? Yeah. It's weird. So that's why you don't even jerk off ever, hubby? Well, bro, one, there's no time, you know? Two, I'm married. There's no privacy. I haven't done it in a <laughs> while. <laughs> she's like, had like, people like, living at a house. She's like, let me help you. He goes, get out of here. <laughs> Hobby's out my <laughs> space. <laughs> Hobby's, Hobby's been living in his closet. You know what I mean? <laughs> and all that kind of closet, yeah, guys. Yeah, come on, man. He's straight, you know? I come yeah. out when I want, you know? But he's like a hub for the... Now it's a Mexican railroad, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they hub all the migrants, you know? So there was like 80 people in his house. Oh, so know? I need to go to your Arieta house. Arieta Arieta Arieta. Arieta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have called Alice, All Hobby. the people that... <laughs> She could have fixed that problem easily, you know? Well, you could have had a police in Kamala's done. house. Ended up at my place. I got it. Now I know Damn, for next year. bro. You know? Fucking conservative <laughs> pieces of shit. Man. I'm trying to conserve do. my peace and you keep sending all these migrant workers to my house. I don't need my lawn done. <laughs> it's middle of winter, guys. God, Come on. <laughs> and then they left before this last storm. You know what I mean? They could have so shoveled the snow. Right? <laughs> they timed it perfect on huh? those pieces of shit, so... Did you get mad at any of them or anything like that, Javi? Like, you didn't get too Mexican now. That doesn't happen to you. Like, when you have you have too much minorities, man. No, like, not really. Like, no, no. Oh man, dude. Of course, he has a fucking. Fiat. Well, they, they, don't, they don't play like Mexican music like a bunch, no? you know. So, is that does that only happen to me or that doesn't happen to you? Like, host, when you get like too like ethnic out, you know what I mean? Or too I Mexican do. Out? No, I do. Yeah, you're like shut the fuck up. You it's know what like I mean? uh, they almost do it intentionally to be more ethnic. Just simmer down for a fucking moment. Yeah, like okay? they play way into the stereotype. Yeah, they do. It's even more, the, you know? Yeah. It's just out of tradition now. It's not even because they're yeah. really like into Yeah, they're it. not about it. They just stick to the stigma. Yeah, let's get drunk it, yeah. and throw a quinceanera. Let's it's like, keep bro, it's up nobody's the stereotypes, birthday. guys. Yeah, you know? you know? so, yeah. yeah, let's throw a quinceanera. You're like, bro, it's fucking Jesus' birthday, dude, you know? <laughs> it's like, you don't even have any kids, you know? It's like, dude. But they still throw the party, you know? Yep. They want to play dominoes and shit, you know? And then there's usually a fight that breaks out. Oh, yeah. Family drama. Not for me. And then the wife, oh, I'm going to divorce your ass. I'm going to leave you mm -hmm. for the 800th time. Does that happen? No, because he, Come you on, know, man. raises his hand if you get yeah. what I'm saying. La Llorona. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen to you ever, Alice? Like, you know, over in the farming, you know, world, you never get tired? Because, I mean, Alice, she looks like she's got some fucking big old party sometimes with all the minorities. You don't think so? I mean, I was at one of them, but it was a bit more relaxed, and I think they were more respectful because it was her birthday. Yeah. But there were a they lot knew to simmer the fuck down as ice agent's birthday, <laughs> yeah. you know. But that doesn't happen to you, else. You don't get tired of like sometimes, like oh man, it smells too much, like fucking cilantro and fucking onions and trumpet. Like you don't get tired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what trumpet smells like, but <laughs> but the it other smells like welfare. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other stuff I don't mind. Uh, actually, when we were younger, we used to always go to Mexico and celebrate Christmas over there. So you don't get tired when there's too many Mexicans. Mm -mm. Damn, bro. I know. But now I guess I do since I'm an ICE agent. So, yeah. 
So what do you tell him? Like, when do you tell him? It's like, yo, it's fucking bedtime. No, she just goes, you're going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, maybe she goes to give him a free trip, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a nice getaway yeah. for you. <laughs> and it's like, hey, go home. It's on me. You know, she Oh, tells round them. trip, round trip. <laughs> yeah, the wheels on the bus go round and round. You're going back to your fucking country. Yeah, man. But sorry, Mexicans, you know what I mean? Or other people of color, POCs. And all other forgotten people. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but that's too many. Uh, but dude, it's also which would you rather have, host? You would rather have white festivities or ethnic festivities? Ethnic man? festivities. Cause damn, dude, you go to a, a white festivity, dude. That's just like a dude. Every fucking thing white people throws like a fucking funeral, you know? Wasn't well, it like everything is scheduled almost to the T? And that oh yeah, but like oh, well, you're ten minutes late. You oh you missed you some snacks. Eat. Yeah, you're not even in the raffle. You were supposed to write your name on the ticket. We've uh, already raffled it away. We already did candy cane stick men. Or they do their uh, they make like little sandwiches. They only they cut them into like four little pieces. Like you know, it's yeah. like a little tiny things. Like bro, they uh cut the crust off with a cup. You know, and make a little like uncrustable. You're like, dude, what is this? You know, a little, little tiny... pretzel sticking out on the side. Yeah. Like, it's a snowman. <laughs> It's a shitty sandwich. The mayo, dude, it's been out for like three hours because they've prepped so far. Dude, you get sick, you know? Their potato salad, it's the worst. It's warm, you know? They're like, did you just get this out of the oven? Oh, I just don't want the party to be late. Everybody died at your fucking party, okay? Fucking Amber, you know? It's that's, like, come on. That's man. why all of you have gluten allergies. That's why you guys can't process milk. <laughs> yeah. That's why you guys have peanut allergies. It's all fucking fermented, you know? And all other <laughs> forgotten, forgotten allergies. allergies, okay? But yeah, I think yeah, I think maybe I like uh, people of color. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because dude, yeah. dude, what's the worst white party that you've been to? Can you remember one, Javi? Like, a, yeah, that's why my hate of charcuterie charcuterie boards come from. Yeah, yeah, they do that. Everybody has matching sweaters, or bro, it's like it's like fucking 420, and everybody's dressed up as Hitler. You're like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> what kind of party is this? They're like, oh, it's Charlie Chaplin. It's like, no, it's not. When the clock strikes three, <laughs> why Schweinsteiger in your kitchen? You know, holding the oven door open. You know, we raise our hand <laughs> like the clock strikes three. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a pledge. You know, Let's pledge our allegiance. You know? You're like, what is going on? Start at the twelve. <laughs> you know where is the <laughs> hot dogs and mustard You're like what is this you know what, what, your dog what, yeah, mustard what kind of dog mustard charcuterie board is this you know and then they got little smokies you know come on man. these are little and frankly like hot dogs like come on man what nationality are you hebrew yeah. national <laughs> The worst part. So what else do they do? They throw another event. It's probably dude, it's like a weird day. You know what other uh oh, it's man. like Jolly Rancher day, you know? Like everybody's gonna come with a hang shirt, different color. Everybody's a Jolly Rancher, you know? Well that's the thing. They have like these themes and they want you to dress up because no one else has a personality to carry anything. <laughs> yeah. They well, can't you have didn't a dress up. I have a personality. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I brought. You need it desperately. Look around you. All they're gonna talk about is their fucking costumes. Where did you get yours? Oh, I got mine at Sephora. You know, it was all a cart. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay. Did you see that the cow jump? Had, is this that where you had ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they're just like, bro, shut the fuck up. Man. Yeah, they talk about weather and stock market. Oh, stock well, the stock market, uh, stock market's down five hundred points. And they're talking about stock, like the fucking chicken stock and beef stock. Okay, <laughs> not about fucking finances. Those fucking idiots, you know. They're in debt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have fucking QuickBooks. <laughs> no TurboTax were you know, there yeah, from, you know? No TurboTax, right over in fucking Cash City, Check City, you know? Fucking American Pawn, you know? Come on, dude. So, what about you, Oz? What's, uh, you ever been to a white party? What's ever happened? You had a white party to you that's, uh... Um, so, I mean, I don't want to say any names because it was kind of my cousin's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> she has multiple married cousins yeah i have yeah. many cousins so y'all don't know but my cousin but they will them, them. <laughs> hey, come thou, on, thou. they them thou thou so yeah my cousin no got married pronouns. to uh a white person a uh, people of uh p-o what is it p w p-o-n-c people, people without, without color, color. <laughs> or yeah, p the sorry go ahead anyways <laughs> So, um, but her dad was willing to like pay for the wedding, like make it all 
whatever, even like DJ, Hispanic music, you know, whatever. And obviously most of our family was going to go. So we were kind of expecting that. But as soon as we get to the wedding, there's no DJ. Uh. All they had was finger food and no alcohol, obviously. And what? like she was she was great with that. But like all our family was like, what the fuck is this? Like we really wanted to leave and not be there ever again. Yeah. It's like weird. Everybody's staring. Dude, even the decorations, everything's white, you know? Yeah. There's like no color to it. You're like, dude, what's going on, man? Everybody, dude, the dad to like his 16th kid, all of them have like the same outfit on. I don't know if I've ever been to a white wedding. JC Penny, you know? Yeah. Come on, man. You never been to a white wedding or a white event? Mm, probably not. No? Not a white wedding? No. Dang, Javi. I don't think Javi has white friends now that I think <laughs> about it, huh? Barely, you know? Or maybe I just don't get invited. Yeah. Because you're too brown. I don't know if I'm too brown because that's obviously not the case. Well, but he's wearing like, a fucking Gloria hat and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what so it you've never be. been to a white party. Wow, man. No. What about you, host? What's the worst white party you, you can remember, you know? Yeah, one of the weddings was really, really boring. Yeah. And I know Alice mentioned that they didn't have drinks, and I don't need drinks. Just people to get up and dance and have music playing. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, But nah, there was none of that. There was no, like, good music. There no was... Kanye West or uh, Pusha T? <laughs> Neither. Pusha T. Uh, <laughs> hey, from what I heard is Pusha T is no longer on good music. Oh, okay. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for trouble. No, maybe a couple emos, a couple Kid Cuddies there or no? Uh, for the tension only. Not... <laughs> they didn't commit to the act, okay? You got to go from wrist to elbow. Not left wrist, right wrist. Get the fuck out of here, Dr. Yeah. Seuss. <laughs> but what happened, you know? You Nothing. Were, was that was a... why it was boring. Yeah. People were just chatting, talking. Oh, man. There wasn't music playing that you could dance to. Uh, and on the occasional song that would be kind of uppity, nobody would go dance. Yeah. They'll play that song, Sweet Caroline. Bam, bam, bam. And then what's another song that they play that's like a... Uh, a classic for them? Maybe they'll play like you, uh, the Backstreet Boys, you know? You are. Yeah, and they play that like 10 times. Yo, they didn't like, even play that at my cousins. All they played was um, like... Taylor Swift and oh. basically, but you said there was no DJ. So was no, like they had like an iP or their phone or whatever, and they just plugged it in. Damn. That's all it was like. Yeah, they had it on fucking. All the same they had it on Pandora. Bucks, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? it was yeah. horrible. Why well, have a party at that Damn, point? You know bro. what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but all his like white friends and relatives were enjoying it. So, whatever. so how did they like? How were they enjoying? Like, what would they do? Like, what were the look in their faces? Like, I don't know. I don't read uh-huh. white. She, don't read, she doesn't even read normal. I don't read She's normal. Be able to read I don't read white. I don't read black. You know. They probably yeah. were just OTPFing the whole time. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Over the pants fingering. Yeah. That would be finger food to make sense. Dry humping oh. over there. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, my white party. I hope my dude, party wasn't that lame. You know. I know. Wedding? Hey, your no, party was pretty was, decent. Yeah, it was dope. I didn't even want to leave. Pretty decent. But I yeah. had, <laughs> remember you had the lizard tacos? You remember when I talked about his? You did talk. It was on like our third episode ever. If you guys want to look it up, it's called Wedding funerals and fantasies i think that's what it's called yeah. you know because people died you know there was somebody they threw a king there people they cried. built a house in the backyard <laughs> yeah. all in like 15 minutes you're like what's going on you know well it's mexican hard work at you yeah, so it was nice dude yeah your part of your uh, wedding was pretty nice you know yeah it was nice. i liked it but yeah it's pretty sweet you know but you know what else is sweet house i'm not sure Sweet Caroline. <laughs> 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 oh, so that, we got holidays or what do we got today? I think we have a couple holidays. We got a couple? Yeah. Or I Wait, thought we were going to have So uh, we're doing holidays? We got a holidays or we got we want to do a little bit of news. What do we, well, we have both. They're they're yeah. all there. Yeah. Which one? Maybe Alice. Hey, maybe you take some control, Alice. You know, you're 2022 employee uh, of the year. You know, why don't you What dictate. women's rights all of a sudden? Hey, why don't you dictate? Hey, <laughs> why, don't you why don't you just dick, why don't okay? You dick? <laughs> well, hey, somebody's going to be dictating, if you know what I mean, you know? Somebody's going to dictate, you know? Yeah, some dick writing tape, that's for sure. <laughs> Shout out to the top G. Right. <laughs> well, we got a news headline. Maybe, what I'm do you guys want to do, huh? Too. Headlines or maybe we do, let's do holidays first. Let's keep people waiting, you know, for headlines. Yep. News maybe let's segment. do a couple holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Burp. Anyway, so for, wait, hold on. Let me find my camera here. We so for January 3rd, uh, the national holiday is National Chocolate Covered Cherry Day. Hey, that's my ch- one of my cover- favorite cherries. Somebody, <laughs> you know, that covers his uh, cherry and chocolate. Also, why don't you tell us about that? 
Uh, I'm still a celibate king, everyone, okay? So, haven't had chocolate cherry in a while. Um, <laughs> I'm not opposed. I mean, definitely a preference of mine. Yeah, chocolate cherry? Chocolate cherry, yeah. Um, I'm still so a celibate you're single king. single and you want to mingle. We'll give you Hulse's number. Play with Hulse's Pringle. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like it. <laughs> Should I tell him about the dream? You had, you had a dream? dream? I didn't have a dream. Oh. I'm still oh. Uh, only four since starting this. Man, dude. Hey, well, if you want to talk a couple, you know, in the name of what's beefy, you know? <laughs> now I got to be disciplined. Let me know what it feels like. <laughs> I don't want to feel more disappointed. <laughs> I like the way the energy, my skin is kind of glowing. Yeah, that's still. why I put all, all of these layers on so people wouldn't see how hideous I look today. <laughs> How you dull know, your skin! I feel looks. ashamed. Oh yeah, Dude, I feel like you know? they can see th this shining on my forehead. It's not even the lights. The yeah. lights are off right now. I feel like a cockation right now. You know what I mean? Right? So I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> I can only see holes. The Teletubby son is next to me. You know. <laughs> Ojito chiquitito, parece coreano. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but me no, dude. I felt really bad. But that's all you can tell us about black cherries. You can't tell us anything more. Um, it's not true. They say the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. That only applies to actual berries. Oh, when so you're talking about you know the chocolate cherries, Alola Falona for it's you. It's about how they take care of themselves. Oh, some are very sweet, some are not. I've had a wide range of the spectrum and not the retard one. Okay, I don't get down like that. Oh, I leave the ADA community alone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've never hey, had you know. any endeavors with. <laughs> Shout out the to the ADA, ADA community, okay? <laughs> okay? I'll use some of that paralyzed heel on you, okay? But yeah, so I mean, Shout again, out to the American Dental Association, <laughs> <laughs> the FDA, you know? Yeah, I had... was orthodontist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was orthering on my dentist, <laughs> but yeah, I've had from pale skin to. Dark, dark, dark night black skin. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and there was, I mean, the sweetness, there was all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. But when when you get a bitter, you know, a bitter berry, oh, man. Yeah, you know? but again, the bitterness wasn't associated by skin color. I could tell it was about their routine and how they, like, what they consumed, how they had a hygienic habits you know so maybe i think we might now that we're talking about women's cherries and women's you know body parts and women bodies in general so this is how we're starting out the year huh guys i think we might have to go to the doctor's office you know okay there's a lot of ladies out there 2023 oh it's gonna be my year oh you know i can't get guys to go down on me okay you know maybe you're you know cherry's a little bitter you know maybe it's not tasting really good maybe a man he's Tries to scuba down there and, you know, next thing you know, he fainted, okay? So maybe, you think we can go to the doctor's office, Hoss? Yeah, we can. Gals, you want to take us to the doctor's office? Sure don't. No, I Alice, forgot my car keys. And your rights. You forgot your rights too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget your left. <laughs> Okay, and then just to reiterate, you know, because I was trying to mansplain, and that's been one of my things that I've been working on in 2023. Uh, you know, why don't we let, you're exactly right, Alice, why don't we let a woman, uh, Alice, explain to all, you know, the world, all the other ladies, speak for the ladies on what's going on with the cherries, Alice. I mean, I don't, I don't have this issue. However, we are having issues with different ladies and how their areas may or may not be taken care and might be tasting a little funky. So why is that happening? That's exactly what I said. Come on. You know? Do you think you got the answer for us, Dr. Hoss? I've cut the answer. Yeah. Well, did you doubt me? <laughs> I'm not you guys. You people, okay, fucking watching or listening. You thought that silence was me panicking. Oh my God, I don't have the answer. I have the fucking answer right in my goddamn hands. I also have a good book. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I sometimes have to talk to the side so that I can read what's going on. You feel me? So this is uh, based on enteroglucogen, okay? It is any group of gluco uh, glucon-like hyperglycemic peptides. It's released by the cells in the mucosa of the upper intestine in response to the ingestion of carbohydrates and fat, stimulating intestinal epithelial cell preparation and renewal. Enteroglucogens are similar to pancreatic glucogens, but immunologically different. What this means is your diet. I said it earlier. I literally said the answer before reading this goddamn fucking 
description, okay? Carbohydrates, why do you think keto is so popular? A lot of females like having their carbs. What's it? sugars, right? Yes. Ice cream, your Starbucks. If you get it with, if you get straight black coffee, You're you'll good. be okay. But you want to add all that milk. I want my pumpkin triple spice frozen pop, pumpkin spice latte <laughs> with a froth top, a uh, fucking whipped cream bottom. I don't even know how the fuck you order, okay? This has everything except the goddamn coffee. It just has coffee in the name. That's what you're eating. All these that's, milkshake drinkers in the morning. Come that's why on. your vagine smells like the third regime of Germany. You got to clean it up a little bit, okay? Uh, Cut back a little bit on the, on the uh, sugar. Cut back a little bit on the carbs like pizza any heavy starches like that switch more to vegetables right Drink why do you think cauliflower water. pizza was so popular a little veg all the instagram more pineapples. yeah exactly the thought erotis on instagram that were promoting keto why were they getting all the men their pussy tastes good tastes so good and the men mm, though, they were also that. on keto I don't know about that. they wanted some sweet sugar so that hector the nectar collector that was mostly the number one customer. <laughs> he listened to me. Okay? And don't worry. Was, uh, yeah, go ahead. I just had a question. I, I kind of peeped at your book, and I saw there was maybe a couple of examples of, of what patients. you like. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> when you have a fetish for certain people. Okay? You feel me? <laughs> Look at this. This person, we were, 2020 was almost three, or three years ago. Okay? This person has 1020 vision. If you guys doubted it was a medical book, that has nothing to do with here. your diet. That has everything to do with the way you live we, your life. You, we might you know? need to take a picture of that, dude. <laughs> we just, just save it because that's awesome. Oh you man, know? I mean, I'm upset. Maybe you that saw looks that. like somebody that that barely. That looks like somebody that got, got in the fight at the Mexican party. Do you want to show it again? Yeah, I'll show it again. Can you sue me, Alice? Yeah, hold on. Okay. This is someone who didn't keep their tortillas warm for their man. <laughs> 2023. You want to be a reina? <laughs> Did you get it, Alice? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. You know? She had a little bit too much uh, leche to the dulce de leche. <laughs> it was she knew he was diabetic, you know? Tú sabes que tengo diabetes. Fucking. Too much al no pastor, okay? Oh. <laughs> um, so, anyways, to wrap up your dietary things, don't worry, I have you. You might be wondering, what am I going to do, host? What am I going to fucking do? I'm not that kind of doctor, but there is one. It's an entrostomal therapist. Go to your PCP, right? Your private practitioner, your general practitioner, and ask them for an uh, entrostomal therapist. And they will get you on the right path. Or a nutritionist, but it, it's your choice, okay? You want a man's to go down, right? What about you want, your choice? You no. want to see his face between your thighs so you can make eye contact with him while he feasts upon you? You want to be the snack? You got to start eating to be the snack. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to bat away. Right here. Right here. I'm trying to go down under the hand like this. You know? There's a reason they say you are what you eat. And depending on what you eat, you're fucking yeah. disgusting. So that's why men don't want to go down there. Maybe I that's smell. why we... You think that's why we that... might be celibate, Hoss? That might be why we, we're celibate. There's an overwhelming you know, population right now. Of... Yeah, they're like, I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm a... Then take <laughs> care of yourself like one, okay? You're not a queen. You're a fucking larva, okay? <laughs> Put that fucking larva away, you know? That parasect out of here, you know? <laughs> a maggot you know <laughs> festering wounds down there the little hatchet wound of a uh, but yeah. what am i to say okay <laughs> i'm just here to report some fucking medical doctors uh advice and i did yeah. that was pretty nice huh? thank you did you learn anything alice i already sure knew all this knew. huh i already knew so all of this of course you know all this because she's a female okay you pieces of shit a female that takes care of herself yeah it's true Alice, she smells so fucking good. You know what I mean? Yeah, she does. Sonny told me, okay? No, I didn't figure you freaking idiot. I want, yeah. <laughs> I once went like, oh my God, that smells nice. Alice, did you fart? And she goes, no, I queffed. Yeah. And I'm like, I knew from there. She said she's got a queft palate. Yes. <laughs> That's why she's dyslexic and can't read. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you? Uh, dude, somebody that can tell us about cherries? Dude, we got the fucking sweet king over here. You yeah, know? we do. Yeah, Javi, what can you tell us about cherries, man? El potro del postre. <laughs> you know? I just like cherries on top of ice cream, you know, a little whipped huh? cream. But that's about it. That's it? That's it. Nothing cool? No, dude. Dude, that's oh, why he always like... has a can of fucking whipped cream and he just goes, <laughs> and then he wants the cherry on top. That's a oh, nice move, Javi. Huh? I'm going to have to steal that one. Oh, did you do that? And then the they girl takes you. it out of. Oh, oh. that's the cherry. I don't want. They don't want. I don't want them taking it out of my mouth. I want oh. them putting something in my mouth. Dude, that is a good move, bro. It is. 
Javi oh, did something there. Damn, Javi, hey, you inspired. <laughs> the We've cherry on awoken. Hey, that's a move, uh, sex move. Cherry, cherry on, on top, top patent pending. pending. <laughs> Come on, guys, one more time. <laughs> cherry on top, patent pending. pending. Okay. We haven't oh. done that forever. Damn. Hey, but maybe you can tell us, Alice. Hey, is that true? They say, oh, I can tie a cherry with my tongue. Is that fucking? Is that real or what? Yeah. You can do that. I can't do that. No. No. You ever had somebody do it to you though? Yeah. I mean, they showed me it, yeah. They never try to, you know, put a knot in your cherry? Uh, yeah, one person. Yeah? Yeah. And what, you didn't like it or what? Yeah. You did? She was pretty good? Oh, she was amazing. Whoa, oh, Nelly. Dang, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you Not guys remember Nelly. that, that people would always do that? I think it was middle school or maybe high school yeah. where they would put the Starburst and you would unwrap oh, it. Yes. Uh, oh, you're a good kisser if you can do that. Yeah, know? I could do it. You the funny thing it. is I saw every female that did it Two months later, pregnant. Yeah, or they got oh, mono. They were, they were kissing yeah. something else. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. They got mono. Remember that in junior high? In yeah. high school? They would be gone for like three months. What happened? I had mono. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, but I saw that first written on a piece of paper. So I'm like, mono? What the yeah. fuck is this? It's a racist ass <laughs> disease. Just... <laughs> that was the first monkeypox to me, you know? Hermano. Yeah, that's what you thought it was. A couple hermanos, couple hermanas, you know? The only thing I care for is abuelitas. <laughs> <laughs> but the abuelitas weren't getting in the action. You they know weren't getting in on the on, action. Man. They were just baking those cookies. Dude, and I, and it was always the white people too that got mono, remember? Oh, yeah. Because the Latinos, we weren't getting mono. We were getting pregnant, okay? Weird. Yeah, now that we you knew that. what parts to kiss, you know? Yep. We're not going to kiss your mouth. We're going to kiss you on your little panocha, you know? Kissing mm -hmm. everything. Or your but. pee, you know? <laughs> everything but the mouth. You I'm going to kiss you on your little sea anemone. <laughs> Yeah, it's because our parents were like, oh, if you kiss somebody in the mouth, they get pregnant. That's why we're having all the babies, you fucking idiots. We've been misinformed. <laughs> yeah. Because that's why you would watch the novelas, you know, and they Fake like, oh, news. close your eyes when they start making out. Yep. It's like, what's going to happen if I do that to a girl? It's like, she's going to have babies, you know? So yep. all the time, I didn't know about protection. I used to know just had to go like this. I was wearing a cloth mask while I was fucking a bitch in junior high. You know what I mean? So toxic masculinity stems from prevention of pregnancy by Latino parents. Yeah, they don't know shit. Do you think they had doctor's books? No, they didn't. Yeah, come on. You think they had friends that were doctors? They couldn't even spell Not book. back then. No, oh, come on, man. Yeah, but that that's probably what happened. Also, la Latino pregnancies? Myth busted. busted. Okay, people were saying, like oh. they did. It was what, what were they blaming it on before us? The alcohol. Oh, alcohol. Yeah. What Still else? Alcohol. Drogas. You know. Drogas. Yep. Quinceañeras. <laughs> yep. The F you got in ex, English. Ex relationships. Ex relationships. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's, it's like how we were talking uh, the other day. I know Javi and Alice are gonna have nothing to disagree on with this, but how Latino parents will always use some sort of metaphor for something. Because we were uh, at a restaurant and this kid was running by. And he was a little Latino kid. And I could tell his parents weren't disciplining him. Just yelling. Right? And I just went, shh. And then he stopped and he looked at me. And so my dad starts laughing. My brother starts laughing. My sister and my brother-in-law start laughing. And my mom goes, Jos, que? And then I just looked at the kid. Like, this isn't all within like a matter of a second and a half. I go, esto no es un parque. Right? So that's it's not a park. But you know how your parents, I mean, my mom would, that's the thing my mom would always tell us when my brother and I were getting a bit rowdy. Yeah. Shh, callense, un parque. It's not a park. Well, that's my dad, dude. He doesn't give no fucks. He'll tell any kid <laughs> or anything, anywhere. Like, hey, where's, where the fuck are your parents? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But that's, I mean, like the metaphors. They always like equate. Well, that's not even a metaphor. It. He'll just fucking. But that's what he's talking about, yeah. honey. Okay, you're ruining his story right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> And that's what he was for. He, for. he was runner up. <laughs> <laughs> but what he's saying is like, so like when they would say something like that, you know, it's like, this is not a swimming pool. Why are you in the puddle? You know, it's like, bro, could you never take me to a swimming pool? Yeah. Man? I got to pretend this is the fucking swimming pool because you will take me to raging waters and now I can't go as an adult because it's closed. Okay. Yeah. Well, like when you want to eat and they're like, aquí no hay gatos. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, see? Yeah, like, what the I, fuck? I got the list. What the fuck we know. Mean? I've been asking for a cat for three years. <laughs> That's why I'm depressed. That's why I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I want some pussy. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 <laughs> Short Steiger <laughs> Nine <laughs> Assassination attempt on uh, <laughs> That was on uh, the, No that was Logan on Kong 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 Kata, yeah. dude. They were trying to take her out Those pieces of shit you know? Because she built them defective chambers <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, but These that was... chambers are gas <laughs> <laughs> They weren't that lit Feel me <laughs> They're gas lit out here <laughs> 
<laughs> Kau polis <laughs> bagi komen <laughs> <laughs> things <those. laughs> Not so easy. They should have sent my microwave over. <laughs> <laughs> they sent that to Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped my microwave. <laughs> <laughs> the radiation. <laughs> <laughs> then you get that chick in the fucking medical book. <laughs> fucking uh, no eye. I almost fucking oh, bought a new microwave, but I was like, you know what, dude? My microwave, you know, he's got character. <laughs> 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 you got that fucking Chernobyl fucking microwave. <laughs> <laughs> it's vintage. <laughs> hey, should I buy a new? Trying to be, he's a fucking, uh, what are those, um, those fuckers that have mustaches and shit. Oh, no, I can't guys, come on. A hipster. That Italian? Fucking, <laughs> fucking hipster. Oh, a, dude, maybe I should bring, now that it's an antique, I should bring the microwave in here. You know? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? And if it's closer to me, slowly, <laughs> but surely I'll be getting lead poisoning. <laughs> I think maybe we the, that might be the move. I might buy a new microwave and put the whole one in here, you know? For show and tell. But yeah, that'll be kind of cool, you know? Yep. So we can all turn into mutants? No, it'll be unplugged. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that, so you don't remember so, like a uh, saying like that, Javi, that they would say like that? Like, oh, oh. yeah, they would say that all the time. Yeah. yeah. But what's one that, that you can remember, you know? Yeah, just like, I mean, the one that my dad says, like, Nesto no es un parque, and it was like middle of church. Yeah. And uh, what else? Eso no es un, cent es un centro de diversiones. You know, it's not an amusement <laughs> <Yeah>. park. <laughs> like, what? Shit like that, yeah. <laughs> You're like, dude, of course it's not, you know? It's like you scratch your knee, they have to rascar, they have baño. I'm scratching my knee, I'm not wiping my ass. You can't do anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You're looking, you know, you got a, a sunroof in your car. You're looking out. You want to stick your head out? This is not the International Space Station. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. It's like, dude, I fucking know, man. You know? <laughs> fucking relax, you know? Yeah, you're at a friend's house. They say, hey, do you want some seconds? You know, he get up. They grab you by the shoulder and throw you back down. This is not a fucking chuck o <laughs> Sit your ass down. <laughs> no seconds, you know? No. Oh, yeah. You wanted to sleep over? You know what I mean? That's not a fucking homeless shelter. Yeah. Get the fuck home. That's true. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. When you try to bring bitches over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not a hotel. Yeah. This is not a hotel. Yeah. Como que te vas a quedar allá? A cutting is to casa. You know? It's like, bro. Or when uh, you want McDonald's, I comida en la casa. Oh, yeah. I know? frijoles in the fridge. Well, yeah. Huh. It yep. must be nice, you know? Must be nice <laughs> to have a stock fridge. <laughs> and the one that knows most about that is BB. <laughs> Let's go. A with fully it. stocked fridge. <laughs> Two years supply of food. <laughs> it's full of stockings all the Christmas ones. <laughs> that would be funny, huh? Or just like beef stock, like we were saying earlier. Yeah, just That's beef all stock. It is. Yeah. A stock fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you open it up and put a straw in. <laughs> <laughs> we should try that. Some that Mulan, you know. <laughs> Come on. Dude. Oh man. Well, yeah, it's nice. Nice thing about cherries, you know. Great thing. You have yeah. fun. Your parents get mad at you, you know. And I think that's about it for cherry salads. Or what do you think? Chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate covered cherries, you know. BLM yeah. guys, come on. We haven't forgot. Oh, it's almost that time for BLM. Yeah. Uh, Next yeah. month. This month. This month. Or the whole MLK. Month, MLK, I'm thinking, sorry. No, MLK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MLK Jr. is in January, yeah. but the month is next month. Yeah, it is next month. Yeah. All right, the Martin's next. Life. Oh, Martin. we're not ready. Okay, the next holiday is National Drinking Straw Day. I just talked about straws. You know? Use my powers. Every day. Come on, so do we even have to say anything about straws? Drinking straws? Dude. Throw them in the ocean. The turtles don't really fucking care. Yeah. That's propaganda. Come the on, turtles man. actually like it. They build their little huts. They build a shelter in the ocean. There's uh, a lot of hurricanes. Yeah, if anything, it's those stupid uh, drink holders, the plastic things, right? They're not. Nobody's choking on a straw. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a fucking... straw actually is what you would use for a tracheotomy, you fucking idiot. They're idiots. choking on something it would help else. Them make breathe, them breathe yeah. better. They can swim yeah. long with yeah. a straw. It's like an extra exhaust. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they can't even poop it out. It just comes out a little bit longer. But it it's more. It's, it's, like it's a, a cool air intake. Snorkel for them. So yeah. They, can, yeah. they don't ever have to come back. They don't have to come back. What are they, they're they getting preyed on by fucking birds in the sky. They stay in the water longer. They're going to live longer. So throw all your straws in the ocean. Did you guys ever build snorkels out of straws when you were younger? Mm -hmm. You would fill the tub in and then just fucking just, I would try to stay there for like two but hours. But you couldn't because it was you know? just so small. And you'd just you, be there like, was not enough. Yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, 
I would do that. Then it was like, well, hey, you began that. breathe through your nose. <laughs> oh, that was the <laughs> worst. Drown. When you forget, and then, you're... <laughs> <laughs> and then your parents come in. <laughs> <laughs> Which means a pool, okay, guys? <laughs> I told you this is not a pool, you know? It's like, dude, the Sorensen Center is only $2, mom, you cheap bitch. Take me, you know? <laughs> Step outside and fucking hit you with the hose, you know? <laughs> you want to swim? That's why minorities don't know how to swim, you know what I mean? I mean, Come on, do. man. Don't take him out, you know? <laughs> Only the We're Cuban getting waterboarded. You know? <laughs> yeah. My uncle did that to cats. Yeah, you know, shout out to him. I forgot about that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, straw. So did you guys ever build anything else with straws? You know, you tell somebody a secret with a straw, remember? Yeah. You build a straw like from here to hobby, you know? Mm -hmm. You try to whisper in their ear. They couldn't fucking hear what was going yeah. on. But you just imagine, you would just agree. Yep. Oh, I heard everything, you know? <laughs> I'll keep it a secret. You didn't know what the fuck he said. No. You know? Like, you then better I, not tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, I, I got you. I'll never say a word. Uh, or you would, you, you guys never like put it in your eye like this and try to see like through a little peephole, nothing like that? Yeah. I remember using it where my brother and I would string up some string, put uh, the straw through it. Then we put like the G.I. Joe's or whatever twice would be like a zip line. Oh, that'd be yeah. so cool. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Alice? You never did anything with straws? Um, when we would go to restaurants and unwrap it, I'd throw the oh, or I blow and the throw the wrapper. Yeah, whatever it's called. Anyways, I would always hit Magnolia in the eye with it. Oh, you would blow it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you might when you put a little water on the wrapper, remember? Oh no. With no, the no. straw? So you, you crunch, crunch yeah, you crunch the like you, you crunch have to take the, the Yeah, the little wrapping the wrapper. paper that's out of Okay. And just from the top to the bottom and just crushes it like this. And then you just put a little thing of water and it'll look like a little warm. Oh, okay. Oh, no. The dewormer, you know? Yep. Yeah. I've never done that. And your parents, eso no es la clase de ciencia, <laughs> you know? You get fucking mad at Golden Corral, you know? Yeah, they want you to get an A. Por qué tienes F en ciencia? <laughs> you don't let me try science experiments with the rest of I was trying to make you proud, <laughs> yeah. you know? Instead I got beat, but yeah. But that's what straws. What else could you do with a straw? I didn't, I think maybe straw dude was like one of the first toys if you think about it when you're a kid. Yeah. Like you can steal them, you can try to build things. So I'm gonna make a little house, remember? Yeah, they're readily available. Bridge. I think yeah. we made bridges in, yeah, in elementary or something. Like nobody would truly get mad if you took a couple. No, they're no. like, oh, he's a kid, give him a couple. Yeah, they're expendable. Me? Yeah, they're an expendable I'll, resource. Dude, I'll make a fucking straw hat, you know? Yeah. Make a little hat, you know, a little yarmulke almost, you know? Because like, I didn't have that many straws, you know? But you do it. Make a couple, and now you're wearing a little nice hat, you know? Yeah. A little shirt sometimes, you know, a straw shirt. Okay. You know? What else could you make, Hoss? Did you ever... What's the coolest straw thing that you made? I made a house once. Yeah? Yeah, like, well, I mean, obviously a tiny house for you idiots. I didn't make a full-ass <laughs> house. That wouldn't work. You could if you wanted to, though. I probably could. Yeah. Yeah. You know who couldn't make a house, though? Because he, he would need something to kind of smooth the edges and stuff like that. Oh, he, he doesn't know how to use a sander? Yeah. I, well, I couldn't make a house because I don't have a sander hose, you know? <laughs> but who could then? <laughs> I think Javi, he might be able to, you know? He doesn't even know how to use a sander. No? So what's going on with my sander, Javi? <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. No idea. <laughs> I'm still in a box. Oh, God. What do you mean it's still in a box? I have the box for my sander, <laughs> man. No, it's not in that. another box. It's a whole another box, oh. yeah. Oh, he was on some kinky shit. It's sitting in some other box. <laughs> Damn, bro. I don't want it. Took off the sandpaper. And he lied to me two, three weeks ago. I remember he's like, oh, it might have been your Christmas gift. Remember yep. he said that? It might have been. Yeah, it's, that's some, it's a big See? maybe. <laughs> and he still doesn't have my sander. Man, I got so. you a just in case. That's not as cool <laughs> as my sander, dude. <laughs> you know yeah, come you, on man just in case did you open it <laughs> your sander might even be in there <laughs> just in case that would be funny if it was you know? yeah he was just there the whole time <laughs> i just always just an asshole he just left <laughs> there because i hated the just in case yeah <laughs> that's oh, funny. That'd be so funny but i think that's it for straws you know there's a lot of cool things you can do with straws now they got metal straws you know dude I hate people that go, dude, now people are so stupid. It's the same people that buy the crazy coffees mm -hmm. with their metal straws. Now they got the little straw cleaner. You know how, dude, how much of no life you must not have to fucking wash a straw? You know, <laughs> go fuck yourself, man. If I meet somebody that washed, dude, I'm walking out. You know, I walk into your house, you invite me to a party, I see like, your little set of straws with the little straw cleaners. Heck no, I still buy bendy straws and give them to the kids. You know? Well, I like it because people are like, oh, huh, I bought this metal straw because it's better for the environment. What are you doing? I don't even use a straw, fuck face. Yeah, I just drink it like, like, a, like an adult. But my teeth are, are, are too sensitive to the ice. 
you know? They get dentures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly fucking Twitter twat, huh? <laughs> you, you life alert now, bitch. Now you <laughs> <laughs> no you calcium having that. Buy the fuck out of here, Just man. use them. Oh, look at this. It just like <laughs> throw them off to the side. You for AARP no reason. candidate. Yeah. Oh, my fucking teeth. Dude, don't. That's fucking get regular water, you know? Yeah, drink regular water, Colgate on, looking man, ass. I hate that. With... Dude, that's another thing we hate white people, man. It's like, oh, <laughs> this water's not cold enough. You know, it's like, dude, how cold do you fucking want it, man? They'll complain about water. Yeah, is know? it water or is it not? God, dude. But what's the next holiday hours? We got one more or do you want to go to events? Uh, I think we need to go to events. Cause Let's go to events. Because holidays are starting to piss me off right now, you know? Mm-hmm. Straws, fucking carrots and shit, you know? <laughs> Come on. I was man. pretty happy with the chocolate-covered straw. That was a nice cherry. one, though, yeah. Huh? We helped a lot of females out in the female community, so. Uh, So the ho- the curry event is horror tattoo bungo leaves woman blind after eye inking goes wrong. Okay, can you read that a little bit slower from the beginning? Horror? What did he say? Horror. 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 Tattoo. Okay. Bundle. Bungle. Anyways, leaves woman blind after eye inking goes wrong. This lady got a eye tattoo. Her ta- her eyes tattooed and she ended up going blind. Oh, so that's what Alice said? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So does it have anything else in the story or anything, Alice? Or like what was her name? You know where she was from? Like was she Hispanic? Doesn't She's have- from Poland. Oh, she's from. Oh, oh wait, maybe. Oh, shout out oh, to no. Schweinsteiger. Oh yeah, she's Poland. Well, they're Poe over the there. Market for a new RV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the market for the you new guys, RV. You guys want an yeah, RV? You know, there yeah. it is. So yeah, so she was Poe in Poland, bro. You think? Okay, we talked about Poland, European countries. They're fucking filthy fucks. You think you're gonna get? Out of any tattoo, you're taking a fucking risk. You're going to loosen an appendage. Is that what it's called? Yes, like an your appendage, host? yep. You know, an appendix, too. You know, you might fucking loose an appendix. It might burst while you're getting your tattoo. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to get a filthy needle all over You eat as potatoes, fucking beer. What else do they got, host? Stale beans. Stale beans. Stale toast. Uh, fucking roots and fucking leaves and shit like that. You don't eat. And you're going to trust getting a tattoo on your eye. They don't wash their hands. You seen your guys' teeth over in Europe? You know? Everybody looks like they're wearing a fucking grill until you get actually close it to It looks them. like a corn maze in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walk in there, you know what I mean? It's like, dude, you thought fucking Apocalypto's teeth were bad. You go to Europe, dude, they still have Apocalypto fucking teeth, you know? It looks like the Roman col- or the Colosseum in Rome. Oh, yeah. Fucking shambles and rubble. <laughs> you know? The leaning tower of pizza on a couple of fucking bitches, you know? Us? Or it looks like a... <laughs> Like an arena full of BTS fans oh. in Korea. Oh, God. <laughs> Yellow. Okay, guys. Yeah. Looks like she's wearing a fucking uh, Nissan Hataka Wormoto on her mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> she just got done going down on Nissan, <laughs> Nissan Hataka Wormoto. Yeah, man. But, dude, you're going to trust a European tattoo artist, man. Have you seen any Europeans, like, on the national team that have tattoos? Nope. Because they're successful. Okay, they're not gonna get fucking tattoos because they they're not, if they get a tattoo they're gonna get it in America, you know. Yep. They're not gonna get a tattoo in Europe. Christopher Columbus did he have tattoos? Absolutely not. You know, fucking America Vespucci, host? Not no. Ponce de Leon? No. Maybe. Nostradamus. You know, did he have a tattoo? Nope. Merlin the magician? Nope. No. Who else did we have? Rasputin. Oh, Rasputin. He didn't have any. Uh-huh. You know. Do you think Anne Frank had a couple tattoos? Maybe that's why she didn't. It come wasn't in her closet. diary. No, it wasn't in there, you know? It wasn't on brand. You know what I mean, Hoss? <laughs> no. I think a couple numbers, maybe. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So who else? Barco. Einstein. Did he have tattoos? Who? Einstein? Nope. See? So, dude, Europeans never got tattoos, but Lewis and Clark? Absolutely. You know? Native Americans. Always. Okay? You go to the Aztecs. Definitely. Polynesians. Absolutely. People of color. Of course. Okay, even in Africa, they got fucking tattoos in their eyes, dude. And they're doing it with a fucking, uh, what are those Strap. fucking hedgehogs? Those little fucking... The pins from porcupines. There you go. That's what I use his fucking powers. You know, they use that as their needle. They're fine, you know? Yep. You use a fucking European needle, you're dead, you know? So come on, lady. She should have known better. You don't think she so? She should have, yeah. You got anything to say to this lady, Javi? All right. From Poland? her left eye. Both eyes. <laughs> oh, both, both eyes? eyes? Yeah. She lost oh, both she, eyes. Oh, she inked both her eyes. Both huh? her eyes. Yeah, Stevie you know? left her wondering what the world's going to look like <laughs> without her now. 
R.I.P. You know? Well, her dumbass, she's like, oh, I want you to tattoo my eyes black. Well, maybe she well, actually got that, a good job. Yeah. She's really going to get that Helen Keller experience. Yeah. yeah she's, like, she's, like, so how, she's like, so how does it look? I only see black, and the tattoo artist's like, nailed right. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you wanted, bitch. Yeah, that's what you wanted. That'll be funny in court, you know? I told her I wanted my eyes black. It's like, bitch, you got him black. You know what I mean? Dude, imagine her going, like, because you know how tattoos I can fade. I over-delivered. Yeah. <laughs> you know how tattoos can fade? You know, she yeah. goes in for a touch-up, but doesn't specify. <laughs> they. Re- she's getting her vision back, and the tattoo artist <laughs> goes right back to her eyes. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> it's crisp now. <laughs> it's fresh. Oh, Put that- some Aquaphor on it. You'll be good. You would probably have to rinse your eyes all the time to get the ink to leave. You know what yeah. I mean? Or what would you put in your eyes? Just probably Dude, rub you it with your finger? You would just get LASIK and tell them to dip your head down. <laughs> it would drain the ink. You're good to fucking go. <laughs> fucking morons. Dude, who gets eye tattoos, man? Fucking dude. Dude, this is worse than the Gorilla Glue head. Oh, I don't know who that is. You I remember thought that? that was a girl that she was like super head too? No, Her, I no? wish. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was another black lady sucking dick. Dude. No, this 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 lady used gorilla glue for her hair. Oh really? And then she was oh like, yeah, yeah, she took the whole thing. <laughs> Look, you yeah, remember that, homie? I'm gonna be honest yeah. for a moment. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like laughing at the expense of people's despair. But you but do. Some Come despair. On. Some despair is so hilarious, especially if they did it to themselves, right? You saw her on video. She's like, please help. <laughs> like, you can tell she was on the verge of having to dial 988. Yeah. And that was kind of funny because she did that to herself. <laughs> yeah. uh, you ever done something like that now, to yourself? Now, if it was someone that did that to her as a prank, I'd feel terrible for the chick. Uh, I would still kind of laugh because it'd be kind of funny, but I wouldn't laugh at the level I was because she was like beside herself but thankfully a surgeon came through removed it did i ever tell you guys at the dealership when i sold cars when uh somebody drank super glue or no no that sounds awful <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds awful it sounds like death you well know? one of the guys he actually okay, committed suicide t- speaking about suicide shout out to tansky r.i.p but uh we were doing some uh super glue pranks you know <laughs> and we were like super gluing to the desk like the stapler you know or <laughs> the pen you know yeah so pen uh tansky he got this other guy uh jeremy he <laughs> jeremy sits down to talk to a customer and he's about to get his pen it's oh super glued gosh. he can't get it off the desk you know so we're just fucking laughing he goes to try to get the stapler we don't to staple the paperwork super glued he can't get it off either you know so he got so mad um Oh no, he did it. Yeah, he did it to Tansky, the one that committed suicide. You know, so he did that. Uh, Jeremy did it to Tansky, so it's like super glued pen, super glued uh, stapler. You know, so now he wants to get revenge. Uh, Jeremy, he's this tall white guy, and uh, he's like, "Oh, I'm going to super loot." He, he would always drink uh, Sunny D, a big bottle. You know, this guy's so dumb. He's like, <laughs> Tansky's like, "I'm gonna super glue the lid so he can't fucking." <laughs> open it but dude it's wet so of course it's going you know so he put so much super glue like around it you know like and on the lid you know he closed it and says it's moist like the glue didn't fucking like it, it just seal yeah, yeah it just like started dripping into the sunny day so <laughs> jeremy wanted to drink <laughs> it he's like <laughs> He's like, he's like, what's going on? <laughs> it started drying in his throat. God. Oh my god. Dude, he, dude, he's like, did you put super glue? <laughs> he, he grabbed the fucking, dude, in the middle of the dealership, he grabbed the giant Sunny Delight and fucking threw it at the hands. Dude, he's going, Psh! <laughs> exploded all over him, dude. And the other German dude, he was just so pissed. He just went outside to, he was just like, <laughs> like the whole, like the whole next two days, dude. He had fucking super glue and it's just some oh. esophagus, man. It was so funny. That's like um, the. It sounded like Terry from the Truth commercials. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Terry. <laughs> dude, but it was because you should have seen him how worried. Like once he realized he swallowed all that glue, his face he was like, <laughs> I gotta show my face like. <laughs> But how much of his... how much of that was like self like meant like mental you know dude he I mean? was panicking dude like you couldn't even hear him talk dude that's how much glue oh. he drank dude <laughs> what did put like <laughs> but isn't super glue like little tiny packets no, dude you put the whole thing in there dude you're trying to glue the whole thing yeah dude but it was it's like an ounce or two which is quite yeah, it's a, like bit. a good amount try to drink some hobby <laughs> <laughs> I got challenge. Him, you know? <laughs> Finish him. You know, he's like, can I have a chaser? 
Yeah, whatever you want, dude. I promise you, you'll feel it in your throat, dude. I could hear him. It sounded horrible, dude. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> But yeah, R.I.P. to Tansky, you know, he committed suicide a little bit after that, you know? Yeah, we heard that first four <laughs> times. <laughs> 988 wasn't available back then. Well, he okay? hated his life. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but that was a super glue him. did it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Pushed him over the edge. So maybe well, that's what the lady could do. She could put some super glue on her, on her, you know, her fingertips, put it to her eye. And blink a couple times, out. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that could heal her, you know, things of us. <laughs> so try it out, lady. You know? Idiot. You know? But what what other events we got, uh, Alice? Um, there's another one. Hold on, let me find the camera. Okay. So there's Morocco to ban travelers coming from China starting January third. Hey, so already today. Yeah. Literally today. No Chinese can go in there. So Morocco is banning, and they say it doesn't matter what their nationality is, what they look like. If you are flying from China to Morocco, they're not letting you off the plane. They're sending you back. They're not letting you in a plane. Sounds like we need some like of Morocco's government here at the border. It sounds like Morocco got too high and mighty for making it so far in the... In the, the world, world cup, cup. Oh, that's know? right huh they made it far you don't even got it morocco they only got oil isn't that the only thing moroccan oil or is that a, even a different country and i think it's cooking hummus oil. Too. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's hummus yeah is that what it is just hummus? yeah they just some mediterranean food and flying oh, carpets come on, bro man a couple like, falafels <laughs> you think they can hummus hummus or what well if they look good enough yeah 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 oh i would want to get a moroccan hummus you don't think so i i have their chicks are pretty hot over there aren't they they are mm -hmm. yeah Dude, maybe a lot of chicks, you know, maybe... I'm part Moroccan, actually. You are? Mm -hmm. Let me see. In the bloodline. <laughs> no, in your eyes. I want to see your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can tell. Can you, can you tell, Alice? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, you can see it. Can you see the Moroccan in them? You can see it. Morocco. <laughs> Morocco. Morocco. It makes sense because you look like uh, French Montana, bro. <gasps> I get that a lot. Yeah. He gets that a lot. French Montana looks like him, you fucking idiot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Come on, man. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find, like, your celebrity lookalikes and be like, hey, you look like my buddy Hoss. Who? Hoss. You know. Okay. You don't know who's a powerful one? <laughs> Come on, you know? Yeah, we go to Bogdanovich. Oh, you look like my buddy Javi. <laughs> <laughs> Must be that, you know? Javi? Yeah. Dude, I was showing, we actually, oh, and you know what? Maybe we can bring this up because we went to, uh, we had our company year-end party. We want to talk about that, actually? We can talk about that. Yeah? Uh, maybe Alice, she can she can talk. She's been a little quiet today. Maybe you can talk about the employee appreciation party. Alice, what happened? So we went to Quarters on a... Quarters. Quarters. We went on the 30th of December. It was actually pretty popping. Since we, since Hoss, Beefy, and I were waiting for Javi to get there, we totaled and completely finished the ninja turtle game there we fucking whoosh, we were fighting we tore it up we and guess who was the worst you think it was hoss nah. absolutely not you think it was alice hell no absolutely not dude i was the worst dude i was a weak <laughs> link dude hoss and i was had like 160,000 points i had like <laughs> seventy thousand. you know fifty thousand. i was like dude, i don't know violence you know <laughs> I, I dude, I kept thinking I was Hoss's character. I thought I was doing so good. But then I was like, no, you idiot. You're the blue one. You know? It's true. I kept forgetting who I was for a minute. Yeah. yeah. But okay, keep going, Alice. Oh, and then uh so we were we went to go watch the Pura Vida, Glaco, Lala Lucas, and I can't remember who else was there. S Rock. S Rock. S Rock. And Rocky. And Rocky. Oh yeah. And it was pretty popping. Yeah. Yeah. Beefy ended up getting wasted and passed out on the table. Oh, and Cynthia came too. So say, hey, oh, come yeah. on. Well, Javi did first, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Like, but I had the greatest <laughs> comeback of all time. <laughs> Some say Kim might have had the comeback of all time, you know? But I think that was Ray J. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but Kim had it on her back. I got it. Right. I got it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But you want to tell what happened, host, and in, in your, you know, because I couldn't remember that much. You know what I mean? Okay. We got there, yeah. you know. Uh, you, Hosey always tells me how to navigate because I, I know how to drive, but I don't know how to drive downtown. So Hosey's always the co-pilot. Yeah, we take the Ford Fusion to save gas, and you know. Yeah, we were patriots rolling down State Main Street. Excuse me. We go hit the parking garage. 
text uh, Javi and Alice saying, hey, you guys want to eat first, whatever. They're like, nah, Alice said she had already ate. So we're like, we're heading to quarters right now. We go to quarters, <laughs> grab a couple drinks. Alice shows up like within two to three minutes. Uh, we're on, me and Jose are on empty stomachs. So we feel it pretty early. We go chop it up with the, the Pura Vida boys for just a little bit. And then we go back out and play the Ninja Turtle games waiting for Javi. We spent about a good 40 minutes playing the game to beat it. No Javi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he had already texted us, oh, I'm already on my way or whatever. You know, all these Mexican lice, you know? Yeah. I have to drop off Ja. Is that what you said? Ja is yeah, his name? Yeah, fucking at, uh, yeah, I had to drive in, him all the way to Memphis. Fucking... You know what I mean? Ja Morant, dude. Yeah. Ja Morant all the you way to Memphis. You don't even know him. You I know? thought it was Ja Rule. It took Rule. me 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes. So, you know, we wait for his ass. He takes forever. Oh, yeah. Colored people time. We grab a couple more drinks, head back into the area where they were going to perform. Some white gatekeeper wanted us to pay. Beefy is Dude. on his shit because he's drunk. He just walks by like an asshole. <laughs> like I own the place, yeah. you know? And I just said, hey, we're here with Pura Vida. We just need the bands. And he goes, oh, okay. Gives us the bands. But he had me pay for when uh, Cynthia and, and Javi got there. Oh, had really? they been there earlier, would have been free. Oh, yeah, because he was being a dick. On. I was like, hey, it's from Pura Vida. He goes, oh, okay. And then he pulls out his phone. Well, where's, what's the uh, Venmo thing? What? He goes, what's the name? And I go, Glocko. Hoping for Glocko. He's like, no, Rocky. I, think I was like, oh, well, how, what's the cover? And I just pay him the, the 10 bucks. Uh, piece of shit. No, not me. I was going in and out. You know what I mean? Yep. Like a fast uh, food worker, you know? Yep. And people weren't saying shit, you know? And I can't remember that much, you know? I just knew that I was having a good time. I said, you know? I had to work the next day. I was like, fuck work. I still perform like a god. You know, the next day I got a big old thing of water, a gallon, a couple power aids, you know, a couple vitamins. Yep. Good to go, you know, but. And, oh, we, there was knockoff of knockoff video games that we were playing. Oh, they yeah. Suck. Oh, I didn't remember that. Shitty. Dude, Shitty shitty so games. bad. They had like Mario, you couldn't step on the guy, you know? Nope. And then what else? They had like, dude, Javi was playing some weird ones. It was like the, what was it? It's like Godzilla against an Asian <laughs> guy or something like that. What was it called? I think like about mouse. the mouse one? Yeah. It was called uh, Chummy Hustle or Hustle Chummy. <laughs> yeah. And some of them were low-key racist, weren't they? Yeah, like some super of racist. Uh, yeah. Was, which was, is why I picked them. It but. was like all. It was called like Almond Eye Fury. You're like, what the fuck is that? You know, Almond Eye Fury? You know? Yeah, Monkey Grabs Banana. Like, what the fuck? And it's Donkey Kong. But we also ended up, you know, we watched Pura Vida perform. We left early because... We were uh, celibate kings, and we were inebriated oh, kings. Oh, but we saw somebody, too, El Mariconcito. Well, I was about to say, we go to Arempas with him. El Mariconcito was there, Santos. Yep. Um, and he looked like he was had a rougher night than me, you know? Yeah. Because I don't remember much, but I remember, dude, his hair was all fucked up. He had eye boogers everywhere. You're like, bro, fucking did you shower, you know? It's like Because I even asked him, I'm like, hey, where's your little uh, thotarotis that you always hang around? Yeah. He goes, oh, I'm trying to change my life. Oh, really? So he's probably taking it pretty tough. Oh, you could tell that. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's going through hokey a, pokey. He's he been have. going through a crisis, you know. I saw him. Like, I need a pokey a hokey, Cause, you know. Because he kept saying, "Oh, my cousin <laughs> well, said that." Because I thought he turned his life around, you know. But oh, maybe. <laughs> good call. I missed on that. <laughs> Sorry, it's because I interrupted you. But oh, you're good. Yeah. No, but I was saying his. He kept saying his cousins were showing up, and or his co- dude, I was like, "What cousins, man?" Yeah, there's nobody. I think he there was, was lying. Nobody, yeah. dude. He Obvious may have been on some drugs. He's like, "Oh, my cousins are right there." My cousins. I'm like, bro. Well, that's fucking Rocky, dude, you know? <laughs> He's selling shirts, you know? What do you mean your cousin's there? That's the know? janitor of quarters. That's not <laughs> your cousin. <laughs> spider, man. That's fucking spider. That's not your cousin. But you know? then, you know, we go to uh, a Venezuelan place, uh, order our food. He orders just juca. You know, he can't, you know, emphasis on the juca. Yeah. Can do it. Um, <laughs> so, Jose offers him his arepa. Well, I ordered, like, I can't remember how many, man. Three. <laughs> And the chicken one was good. I can just remember eating the chicken. I don't know. The other one was pernil or something. Pabellón. Pabellón, you know? Yep. I thought that was how you make a road, you know? El pabellón, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the pavilion, you yeah. know? But I guess it was. I guess it's a, it's food in some countries, you yeah. know? So we exchanged stories, though. It was nice. Cynthia was enjoying the story. Oh, Cynthia, she was She there. provided some stories. Yeah. She went to Horizonte. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were making fun of her. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what did he say? It's like, oh, do you want to Horizonte? She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, I had to go. <laughs> but she cut class all the time, apparently. Yeah good times yeah did cynthia have a good time hobby or she didn't think it was too uh yeah she thought it was yeah? fun yeah 
Yeah, because I was excited, huh? I was excited that Cindy was coming. She did yeah. bring up a good point. Like, hey, we, you know how the, uh, uh, how do you say, my arempas? Yeah. Arempas, yeah. Um, we might have only been good because we were inebriated. So we need to go back when we're sober. But well, you've been sober. there sober, right? Well, she, I've been there sober, but she didn't drink. She, she only had like the ham one, though. Oh, uh, so. But I mean, that's why I always encourage the pabellón, just because yeah. it has. But I like Platano Maduro, the sweet plantain. That's what you had? Yeah. That's the one I had you order, and you liked it. I ate it? Yeah, it had, shred- it. <laughs> it has shredded beef. It has uh, habichuela negra, black beans. Oh, okay. It I remember like, the, the beans in that it one. It has like a queso fresco. Um, and then it has platano maduro, just the sweet plantain. Yeah, I like I like the chicken one too. I think maybe we can go again. I can't remember, you know. I... There's one closer here. It's right off of I-15 and like uh, 72nd South. It's the same brand. It's the same owners and everything. And same Venezuelan, menu, right? Yeah. I didn't know they had food too. Hey, <laughs> they have a couple, you know. They don't have a country. <laughs> <laughs> they got food, but they don't got all a country. that's left is their la cultura. <laughs> And that's barely and leaving, it's yeah. leaving to it's America. It's in shambles, okay? <laughs> yeah. For waterheads, just a bunch of people that can't vote. <laughs> Fucking airheads, you know? But yeah, I think that was pretty nice. You know, Eating that was fried good... pancakes. Oh. Oh, come on, Alice. You know? it early, yeah. But it's yeah, that slipped. was a good company party. It was pretty it was nice to end fun. the year, you know? Yeah. It helped me. It put me in a good mood. And then the next couple of days, I just had to recover, you know? I was fucking just laying in bed, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I think that's anything else. else? Any other news or how are we in time? Uh, it's one sixteen on time. One sixteen. Maybe we can do an unsolved mystery. We can do an unsolved mystery. Uh, I don't have one. You know, uh, I don't have one. Well, we're not gonna do an unsolved mystery. We'll do one more article <laughs> of uh faith. You know us. Articles of faith. <laughs> um, Missouri inmate may be the first openly transgender woman executed in the U.S. Hey, right. now, do do we know what crime this individual committed? Uh, hold on. Or crimes? Are you uh, looking for a new Kia twenty twenty four? Um, it's incarceration for killing a former girlfriend in two thousand three. Were they transgender back then as well? Does it say or no? Or was she trans lesbian? Uh, it doesn't say. No. Hmm. So it depends. Maybe like if I guess who killed the girlfriend? Was it he that killed the girlfriend or she? Because if it's yeah, she, that's why I ask. she she should be free technically, right? Yeah women's empowerment why are they locking up a queen yeah now the guy i mean he's already he dead technically yeah. you know if you guys want shit, to, yeah he, he already, he already his did life his life yeah yeah. He, yeah he's gone he's in a better place he was on death bro <laughs> snip snip pee pee but then that's also equality you know what i mean yeah everybody's gonna die and you yeah. said they killed her by what the guillotine yep the guillotine so she's gonna <laughs> die by a fucking guillotine also what does that mean no neck, no problem. <laughs> well, I mean, is this person's name Uri? Miss Uri? Uh, it's actually Amber. Amber is her name. Miss Uri. <laughs> Miss Uri. <laughs> Miss Uri, please. I didn't mean to hurt so, you. So you've been like stupid. misery. Like. <laughs> Miss Uri. Uri Uri Tenga. You know, it's a Polynesian, so you say that. Uri Uri Papa. <laughs> Teddy Ursula, you know? <laughs> Miss <C>. Urching. <laughs> Yeah, but she's going to die and she's trans. So when is she going to die again, Alice? <laughs> it doesn't say. Oh, she's going to be, what, what does it say, execution or just death row? It just says she might be executed in the U.S. Oh, I didn't know Missouri still had the death penalty. Even Utah got rid of that one, didn't they? Yeah, they I, just, think, like, I know Texas you? still has it. I thought te- uh, I thought Utah had it because when I was locked Florida up, yeah, they had they a fire. Got rid of it too. Utah got yeah, rid of it. I thought Utah did get rid of it because yeah. they had the firing squad. I remember. Yeah, when but that's I was what I'm saying. Yeah, but they ju- they got rid of it like pretty recent. You're fired. And sometimes it takes like a couple months or years before they transition out of emphasis on the transition hey. out of the that law. So like, say yeah. you have X amount of inmates who have been convicted uh, on. Oh, wait. During well, it. Until all the, they, the they, very they, last that's one. That's the last one. Now they, they don't do it anymore. And you know that all the uh, guns have, like I guess, like a shelf or blank. So they, yeah, even so the they, cops they don't they know can't blame who them. killed, who was actually the one that killed her. Yeah, I think they do that, that. for two I think that's reasons. they do it, yeah. To, yeah. For the mental sanity, to, or I guess maybe some mental sanity. Oh, okay, so when this pers- when Amber killed her girlfriend, she killed them, killed her while she was a he. She transitioned oh. in prison in 2016. Does it say if she still has a pee pee or no? Uh, it doesn't mm. say. How I mean, many inmates were? Uh, I got the solution, guys. <laughs> this is this is what they should do. Are you guys ready? Wait. Yeah. This was gonna do. So Amber 
did a crime as a he, you know, a punishment to the older he, who she used to be. They just make a glory hole, okay? They hold the penis through, and they shoot the penis out because that's the last part of remaining uh, of him. Remaining of him. So that's who the killer was. So you shoot the penis, uh, maybe the balls too. You know, what you about like, lethal injection? You know, just like, to the penis, to the penis. So you would have to like, uh, like you know, when you put the the thing Cut in off the, the oven? circulation. Yeah. So you put the little twine. Is that what it's called? Twine. Yeah. And then you just psh, the penis, and then catterize it, or what give if, it a tattoo. <laughs> what if Amber already had that removed? No, before because it was a he. Yeah, well, I know, but they, oh, they it's didn't like during face prison? the execution oh, till now. Like, oh, okay. So what if they no longer have the the PP? Well, I, what would what would an appropriate punishment be? Well, they uh, I still kept writing, and it said that she was in a obviously a male. Where the fuck did I say it? Male, male prison. Jail. Male prison, and okay. the males were obviously hassling her because of her transition. Mm. Yeah. So. But no, it still I think she still like, has her pee pee. Yeah, it sounds like they. She, still she might it. still have it. Mm. So I think they have to get rid of it. You know. Okay, uh, that's fair. So they would have to get rid of it. What other manly features? Maybe the Adam's apple. You think so? Or what other features? No, that'd be more? like free surgery for for her. Oh yeah, huh? Because then she yeah. would talk better. So what yeah, at least the the pee pee is like representative of the past. So it's like okay, that part is dead of you. What's another manly thing that we have that people would that we would hate if they got rid of your beard. Yeah, or a jawline. <laughs> so if they, if she has a like a more a nice masculine jaw. jawline, break it. So it no, but then look... it's free surgery, like you said. No, but you don't fix it. You just break oh. it, so it's like hideous. Oh, okay. So you take away uh, some of the vanity, right? Because I mean, there's there's a level of vanity of, of for everyone, right? Like yeah. I would be, I would hate it if I committed some measly crime. They're like, well, you can't have a beard for the rest of your life. I'd be pissed. I'd be remorseful at that point. Maybe what else would you I would do? need nine eight eight at that point, you know. Okay. Maybe I would cut her nipples off. Because then it's like man nipples, you know, yeah. they're different. They okay. can't produce anything anyways. Yeah. So just cut the nipples off and then just sew them shut. Nice. So it's almost like a Ken doll or something. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So no nipples, you cut the balls and the pee-pee. Or would you enlarge it, you think? No. Because then they, she has to look at that sin forever, that penis. Oh, like, that's un- but it's a fake one. They cut the real one and then they put like a, a weird one there. A mm. prosthetic? Yeah, like a prosthetic. Does it say how uh, Amber murdered the girlfriend? Um, or no? Maybe. No. No. Oh, it just says murder. It doesn't really say how. Hmm. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let me keep reading. A broken knife handle near her car and a trail of blood. So I guess she just stabbed her. Oh, Dang. stabbed her. So what if you remove their hands? Both. Both hands? So it's like, that's a memory of like, I oh, can't stab yeah, anyone anymore. Oh, because yeah, they use the man hands to stab yeah. you. Yeah. Then how do you handcuff? <laughs> well, you don't. I mean, at that point, yeah. I mean, without you, hands. I mean, the... Dude, if, yeah, if that person can get away with something without hands. So that would be, that would be good. We cut the balls. We take the nipples out. Yeah. And the hands. That's Why like, did we take it out the nipples? The nipples had nothing to do with it. Because that was uh, male nipples when it happened. Oh, okay. So we cut the male nipples out. The hands, I think, because the hands were the man hands that did the crime. Yeah. So we cut both of the hands. And then I think that's justice served. I think so, you know. She can walk out with no... I would let her off prison after I do that. Well, I mean, yeah, I I think that's fair. If you can remove both hands, cut off certain parts and the nipples, oh. and release them. She, he, she dumped the body after she killed her at work in the Mississippi River. Oh, so she broke up with her after she killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Peepee's all I heard, okay? So what will happen again? Mrs. Peepee. <laughs> <laughs> she said it said that she the girlfriend filed a restraining order and had the police escort her to her uh escort her to her car after work. Uh then the girlfriend's neighbor noticed one day that she didn't come home. Uh she called the cops where they found the broken knife handle near her car in a trail of blood a day later amber led the police to a location near the mississippi river where they found the body okay Damn. so i uh, actually pretty, I'm first go- of all can i mention that's a pretty good neighbor you know <laughs> right you're missing one day like hey they're not back i didn't even my think neighbor of that. Would, that maybe the neighbor had a crush on her too she might have been a hot bitch yeah, my neighbor maybe. wouldn't give a shit if right? i disappeared my you know don't care. yeah so because you guys are minorities okay <laughs> you freaking idiots 
But I was going to say, I re, uh, what is it? Retake? What, what, resend? Redact. Redact. I resend. redact my, you know, <laughs> what, what, what former it Former punishment. My former punishment <laughs> because this is a crime of passion. We were trying to wonder if it was a he or a she. Men are not going to commit a, a, a act of a passion, a crime of passion. So this whole time she was actually still a woman. Has um, already become a woman. Yep, had already become a woman, so she deserves to be killed. Because a man wouldn't have done that crime. A man wouldn't have, oh, I'm going to break up with you, all right. Leave me, bitch, you know? Maybe I'll smash your car window if I'm that mad or something, True. you know? But if, if I'm going to be that passionate, that means I think I might have, might have already transitioned into True, most men just kill their wives and their kids and then pretend that they don't know anything about they it. They blow the house. And there's no <laughs> passion <laughs> behind it. Like know? a real <laughs> man, okay? They don't do it with passion. They crisp and wall the fuck out of the, the whole situation, okay? I'm taking myself and the kids. Nobody's, you know, surviving. Let's go. Yeah. So I think I'm rescinding the fact that she deserved to be executioned. I agree. And if you guys are having a problem with what just happened... All I heard was women are far more passionate than men, and that's a good quality to have. Yeah, yeah we do. We're looking for passionate queens, okay? Well, I'm still a celibate king. I'm clean. <laughs> so is beefy. Alice, way. how's your celibacy going? Passion it's good, It actually. doesn't it's matter so how your celibacy. <laughs> I'm just playing Alice. <laughs> do you have people blowing up your DMs right now? Me? Yeah. No, no one likes me, dude. I don't believe no, that. I think a lot of people like Alice, you know I don't mean? believe that, No Alice. one likes me, it's okay. A lot of people like Alice, you know? Mm. If you like me, leave a comment. Let's oh, find out. Damn, leave no. a comment, DM her, blow DM her phone. Right? right, you guys have my Instagram. A picture of what? Their foot? Like, what do you want to see? Let's do, yeah, a picture of your toes. Yeah. If you like yeah. me, put a picture of your toes. I'm gonna have to go to and if, if she likes your toes, you might get a reply. <laughs> I might yeah. have to go to female prison with Alice. Run some game, you Let's feel go. me? Yeah. 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 You just going like, to identify as a chick? <laughs> yeah. Why not, huh? Why not? Why do they want to go to people prison? Hoss and those beefy and I was going back to people prison? <laughs> Pat Pat and pending. pending. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to be gods in there. You know God what I mean? says, okay? Oh, yes, queen, yes. <laughs> We're there to part the Red Sea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not on their period. No, thank you. you know. How do you put, put money in my books? Oh, yeah, hobby dude, you get all the tithing, you know what I mean? Take it from all the, the commissary, yeah. <laughs> Show up there with his Gloria hat. <laughs> Please, sir. Senor. Would you do that for us, Javi? If you went to oh, prison, yeah. you would take us some stuff? Yeah, I would. Like, nice. okay, what would you, maybe go one by one. What would you take to host, you know? Maybe, okay, maybe we should do one last thing. Maybe we should end. Do you want me to go into the bag? Go into the bag. Yeah, we're yeah. going to go into Beefy's bag. Going oh, to Beefy's shit. bag. Maybe we're going to go into Beefy's bag, and Harvey's going to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with us now that we're prisoners, <laughs> and we're in a female <laughs> prison, and he's going to bring us something to make our days, okay? Okay, yeah. Oh, shit. This is a role play for those of you that are listening, which, again, we encourage you to come on over to YouTube. It is a show for a reason. It is to be watched, Wait, not just listened. Prep? I'm a, I'm a step... Oh, I know somebody's coming back. Oh, shit. <laughs> what if he's the neighbor we have to call the cops for? <laughs> we don't see him for a day. <laughs> nice. I like this one. I'm going to get my gypsy on. And now she's like a more of a, you know, like. This makes me look like I do yoga and tarot card <laughs> reading. <laughs> Isn't this what's his? That's you, Alice. <laughs> okay, don't say nothing. Okay. <laughs> this look good. Oh my gosh, you look like Shakira. Ahara, ahara, ahara. He's Spanish. Como se llama? Bonita. I don't know. How this hair <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> my hips don't lie. That's for sure. Oh, okay. This looks like my hair naturally. <laughs> All wild out and shit. Looks like you just got done using the fucking chicken finger. Huh? It looked like I was just out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Winter is coming. <laughs> I feel like the queef got a little bit of a haircut. Yeah, your bangs are shorter. It feels like it, huh? Yeah. It looks like you just got done with your jazzercise class. So what is that, a mullet? <laughs> I 
Shakira wishes she had a nice beard as me. <laughs> and Javi, he's just gonna be Javi, you know? He doesn't have to do... He doesn't, because he's helping us out. I have to do myself. Yeah, he's just coming to visit us. So the first prisoner is Hoss. Then can you, know? you do, like, a group visit? No. No, no one, one by one. one. They don't one do that one. in prison. You think we a group visit? We would be yeah. conspiring. Like, they the, the, the glass it, this is not chamber, church, okay? Back <laughs> no. What is the elimination chamber? That's WWE, Javi, okay? <laughs> That's not going to happen, Let's okay? Go, this isn't the Iron Maiden. Come on. Well, I mean, if you brought more people... Okay, not in the prison, but I'm sure in the jail, if you brought, like you and someone else and then Wait, we were in the same area you could have called us all and like each person would have yeah like each person would have sat each glass whatever and you guys yeah, could yeah probably, with the phones and stuff yeah okay okay so host you're gonna be joe set now it's gonna <laughs> joe be set. <laughs> joe set josie joe set you can call her josie for sure Josquifi, you know and Alice, she's already Alice. Yeah. <laughs> my name never changes her name never changes she's no, already Alice. i'm huh? antonia Jose Antonio, yeah. Jose Anne, <laughs> Jose Anne, <laughs> so, yeah. you want to be Jose Anne? Jose Anne. Jose Anne. All right, who's gonna go first? Who wants? To do I just? Jose. Uh, it's gonna go by order. All right, Jose Anne, cómo estás? Cómo cómo te va? Estoy bastante bien. Estoy esperando un regalo. ¿Qué ocupas? Nada. Ahorita mismo unas mujeres. <laughs> so ahí tienes varias. You pick. You know you have a. A uh, pick of the litter in there. I do. You know I have mean? a pick of the litter. Este, do you still need condoms? Is that a thing? Yes, I need condoms. All right. What size? Magnums? 2XL? Wait, hold on. Pause. So we're transgender women in this prison? Or we're... Well, no. You're you're still Alice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, These okay, guys okay. technically are transitioning, I feel. Hey, who are you talking to? Uh, sorry. I, I'm okay. a woman with a penis. Okay, I got it. Hey, we only got like two minutes here, all right? Got it, got it. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Hi, it's set. I need some jimmies. Some jimmies, all right. Yeah, but do you, do you want you... some book? I brought you some books. And you, what's the most powerful book I could find for a most powerful person? You brought it. I brought it. The, the good the book. book. <laughs> How's that going to help me with the females in here? <laughs> what do you mean? You can spit game. Use the, like, uh, translate this for them. You know, some of these females can't even read. Mm, true. So, uh, you know. You can prophesy to them, and then some. Some might be harlots and continue on the path, and the others might convert. You know, a two for one. Nice, prophesize and have them kneel at the altar. There you go. You know. Do you have an eye patch on? Sorry, I know. I'm like. Yeah. He inked his eye. Okay, come on, come on, Alice. It's all these bitches can't see me coming. <laughs> she, she inked will her see eye. me coming. She, she. I apologize. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate them. I shall spit great game with the good book. And make them pray to God if you catch my drift. Okay, get on the, make them get on their knees, you know. Yeah. Just for you. Thank you. All right, Josquifi. Also has a split personality. <laughs> hey, how's it going, King? I haven't seen you forever, Javi. I know it's been a minute. But how's you know what? Everything? I want you, everything's good for me. What about yeah, you? Well, you know, I'm running game up here. People think I'm fucking hot, but you know, well, with that red hair, you look yeah. like uh, Wendy. Snuts good in you. There you go. The I'm glad you bitch. said it, not me. Hot you bitch know? alert. Well, thou, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. What did you bring me? Did I, you haven't sent me money for the last four months? I was trying to save up for this. It's this really gift hard to <laughs> look this good in prison. I'm hey, sure it's it is, much harder you know? being a female than I thought. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting it, but I gotta stay in character now, dude. <laughs> you have no choice. But you know what? I brought you the best gift ever. What did you a get me? A cup. With the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> oh, I love the Yellow Ranger. <laughs> I know you do. I always wanted from your to be past, her growing up. From your past life, you know? From Yellow the freedom Ranger. outside now, as a child and as for the past Christmas. What did you put? Did you hide anything in the Yellow Ranger? Uh, No, it's just strictly the pimp cup. You're so going to have to fill it up yourself. you literally just got me a fucking Yellow Ranger, you fucking asshole? I had to. What am I going to do with that shit? What do you mean? You can just pass We're it around. We're not even allowed to have mugs. Oh, you have mug shots? Oh, my God. I thought... <laughs> I thought that meant that you guys were able to drink, you know? No, you fucking idiot. We're not going to be able to do nothing with that, but I guess I'll take it and maybe trade hey, maybe for these, else. Maybe these females might like you even more, you know? Oh, okay. Asian life, especially the Asian ones. Come on. Oh, I got enough, okay? Oh, well. They can barely see me. You ungrateful little bitch. Here you go. <laughs> okay, bye. You look like you're off a set of Stranger Things. <laughs> you look like the little nerdy coconut yeah. head. You look like coconut head. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is, okay? <laughs> This whole squeaky, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> All right, Alice. What's up, guy? How's life in in the inside? Oh, you know, it's the same as last time. 
<laughs> not much has changed, you not know. Not much. Are they are they letting you keep the extra tortillas? Oh, of course. Dang. Yeah, now I'm like VP in the freezer. Now Hell I mean. yeah. <laughs> I get it. Very deep in the pussy. I yeah. Get it. <laughs> I also brought you a gift. Oh, I appreciate it. Hey. I, actually, I didn't want to tell Queefy this, but I bought you the alcohol. Yes. Because uh. I can't sneak them both at the same time. Party in the U.S. So I don't know how you're going to get it over the glass, but here you are. I'm just going to leave it here <laughs> and you figure it out, you know? Wait, um, There's also, you can watch Prison Break. I don't know if there, are you guys allowed to watch Prison Break in there? Yeah, we can even watch Orange is the New Black. But it's not. Black is it's the not. New Black, you It know? is. Black is Black. But yeah, hopefully you can reach this at some point. It's okay. Officer Anderson's coming through. She'll hook it up. Oh, there you go. I knew you had people on I the inside. I got it. You know what I mean? Every day. Oh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you, man. Thank you. And good luck in there. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Dude, the queefs, you can never catch a fucking break, dude. Huh? You give them condoms, did you get fucking alcohol? And come the, on, man. An empty mug. What the fuck am I going to do with that, dude? Oh, man. man. Uh, dude, one day, maybe the queef, you know, somebody's going to be nice to her, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> fucking tired of fucking, you know? She might be the one that's getting execution <laughs> right now. No, you were the- <laughs> I'm the one that stabbed that lady, yeah. you know? No, you're Amber's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't oh. like the queef. Oh, God damn, dude. I feel bad for her. The queefy, dude, you know, this is why she's been in here for a long a while, time, yeah. you know? Well, that was pretty nice, you know? You. <laughs> you like that a little bit, huh? You know? Kind of, yeah. yeah. It was kind of nice being a woman for well, 30 empowering? seconds. Did you empowered? <laughs> I did. You were yeah. a, woman, a woman last year. Oh, I was, huh? But no one knows who. No one knows who it was. You were a woman? A couple times. Remember? Oh, really? Yeah. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> the what? What is it like? It was yeah. a special event, guys. Okay, but so it doesn't ring. I feel like I got wig hair on me, but it's I think my, just my regular hair. It's just your regular hair. <laughs> he didn't need the wig. <laughs> <laughs> I could just let my hair down, you know. Uh, but do are we gonna do wholesome advice or anything else that we gotta say? I mean, we, I don't know if we how what uh, how are we on time, Alice? Uh, one thirty-seven. One thirty-seven. Hey, that was a fun role play, huh? It was. I like role playing, you know, pretty nice. But uh, we got any wholesome advice, or what do you want to do? Maybe for uh, your twenty twenty three host, what do you want to do? I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but we. I mean, we've said it before. I'll I'll keep alluding to it. We have a few projects on the horizon. Um, we're excited to share. We've shared a little bit, right? We have some of the the comics, audio comics coming out. Uh, we're writing those. We've recorded two kind of little biographies. We need to get back on that and, and finish it. Uh, we're going to get back on the merch train th- later this year uh, to make it official, to make sure you guys can order it whenever you want, wherever on whatever website we decide to, to go with, uh, including Javi's No Division. And I think that's all I, I can think of at the moment. Um, should I? I'll hold off on announcing that. Unless you do, then no big deal, but... Maybe we can talk about it for the next episode. I don't even know what we're talking about. I know. About, I'll talk about it after the, the episode. <laughs> we are, well, for me, I bought a couple books. You know, I started, uh, and for me, it's like, I said, I don't do New Year's resolutions. Like, not nutting. I think that was probably, like, something that I started doing already. November. And then working out, you know, so I've already been doing that more. Uh, but I have been learning a little bit more stuff, you know, to make more stuff, so. I've been, I bought a couple books and stuff that I've been learning the last, like, two weeks, how to make more, more stuff, you know, more stuff on the internet, you know, so that's going to, and I don't want to talk about it because I just want to surprise people, you know? Like, yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's why I didn't I come in, thing. I, so maybe I would say, well, maybe one thing we always say is just, like, find new hobbies, you know, like, find new hobbies, like, it doesn't have to be, don't make a resolution, I would say maybe, like, close things, like, don't make a resolution, or if you do, you know, make whatever resolution you may have, like, personal but you should already be working on yourself regardless. But I would say maybe find a new hobby, you know, find like a new hobby to try. And I mean, you can never run out of hobbies or things to try, you know? So like, oh, you're bored. Oh, I don't got any friends. It's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, bro, you don't need to do, you can do whatever the fuck you want, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, you got fucking YouTube University, Macon University, Tate University, you know, Steve Henniger's College, you know? 
Come on, do something productive, you know? Get fucking QuickBooks, like Jose said, you know? <laughs> do your own fucking taxes, TurboTax, okay? Yeah. Learn some accounting, you know? Some basic math. Get you a little fucking calculator. Next thing you know, you're making fucking merch, okay? So I would just say that. Get a couple hobbies, go run, you do something fun, uh, enjoy life. Pero sobre todo, mucho, mucho, mucho amor. I realized I didn't even give advice. I was just kind of half-ass announcing uh, something. Did I say something nice? You Well, you said advice. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Wholesome Somewhere advice. You want rent. to say something else? I mean, if you want to go, I don't want to interrupt the flow, but I can at the end. Oh, I already said whatever I want. Okay. I guess everyone says be your true self. Be your true self. Be yourself. I don't think most people know how to even do that um, or care to. So I think maybe that's it. If you don't know how to, then that's kind of a problem. And I think you need to do some soul searching and understand. But I think part of it is just allowing yourself to be kind of weird in front of people and not really care. It doesn't mean being disrespectful. It doesn't mean throwing shit in their face. It just means you're okay if they have an odd perception of you. Like, he's a fucking weirdo. She's a fucking weirdo. Just, just have a, a personality, really, I guess. Don't try to conform to what you think people might want from you because then it's going to be disingenuous on both parties because you're lying to them off the rip. They're going to not approach you the way you want to because, again, it's all fabricated and it'll unravel itself. So at the end of the day, just learn to be weird. Maybe that that's how I summarize it. Learn to be just weird and be okay with it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Awesome. Somebody that's really weird, you know, <clears throat> the ICE agent, she's going to tell us a couple things. I am actually really weird. I don't mind it. Um, yeah, just like how everybody has been saying, you don't need to make goals. If you really want to change your life, you would change it like at that moment. Um, I don't really have anything planned, I guess, or anything I want to do different. Well, I kind of do, but I don't know if I really want to say it. I mean, I told Javi and Cynthia Friday about some goals that I may be hopefully achieving. Um, but other than that, just, you know living your life because i mean it doesn't matter whatever year or month it is you're just gonna have to keep improving yourself and that's it um mine would be uh word i mean i want to apologize for everybody that was waiting on the hoa last week he doesn't want to apologize <laughs> No, we're still figuring out the contract, you know. Beefy's thought I was signing on for four a month. I thought I was thinking splitting the difference, you know. We'll see. We're still in, in the contract works. We'll see what happens. Um, And if you watch the next episode, I'll tell you why. Or you'll find out why of the HOA. But I want to appreciate everybody that's watching and actually waiting for those. That's pretty cool that I didn't, like, I had a few people reach out and stuff. So thank you all. Um, But there's more coming Hey, not beefy and host, but like more more episodes <laughs> coming. Um, what else? Wholesome advice. Some wholesome advice. Um, I would. I want to tell people to uh, meditate on death. As dark as that sounds. Um, yeah, like that's something I've been doing like a little more now that I've had like jaw and and you know watch the next episode of the Choi and you find out there may be a little bun in the oven you know I don't know we'll see but just um, meditate on death you could literally die at any moment like why not live life to the fullest like these guys have been saying do what you want like free yourself from like the fear of people judging you and or whatever fear it is, I don't I don't know what the fear is like. You, everyone has their own like ad ideas of stuff, you know. But like, just like, just uh, meditate on death and how you want your life to be perceived. I know a lot of us we're gonna be forgotten like within like a generation or two anyway. So like, don't also get caught up in that. But I don't know. I think just like kind of take things a little seriously, a little bit more, but not too seriously. And that's that's my wholesome advice. I appreciate that one for sure. That was awesome. So that was great. Any announcements or things before we just cut it down? Oh yeah, one thing that host <laughs> you already forgot to say this, but dude, we're gonna talk a little bit of fucking trash done this fucking episode because you know what? Hoss went and they had already told us you got the position. Okay, he went to the T Talk fucking podcast. 
we would try to help save the fucking show. You know, they wanted to, oh, help us put it on YouTube, help us get more viewership, you know, help yep. us. You know, we're intimidated by they Walsh. Asked what they you know, could they were do saying, new. I so heard it. Stagnant. They wanted new material. New material. I spit some game to them. Why haven't they reached out to have all of us on Whoa. there? Yeah. Secretly, I heard they wanted me on there. But no, hey, wait. So, what's <laughs> Hoss? He they had already told him you got the position. You know. Yep. He, they told him, "Oh, you're good to go." And then now, what what are they saying? They they made a poll or whatever. They made a poll. They made Group A, Group B, Group A. What's this fucking FIFA? World Cup? You fucking <laughs> yeah. wet back, yeah. Okay. We don't watch fucking soccer. We're fucking Soccer's Patriots, over, bro. okay? That shit is for the birds, okay? Fuck that shit, yeah. okay? Group A, the they, their number one candidate, that was an easy fucking uh, group. I was placed in a competitive group B, okay? Some episodes of people that knew what they were doing, oh, people yeah. that actually brought something to the table. Group A, only one person brought something to the table, and magically that person is winning that group. Yeah, he went against a couple fucking Thotteratis, you know what I mean? A couple quinceañeras. Do you think, dude, you know? You should have put them head to head. So I think maybe do you are are you ready to issue a challenge or a fucking warning, Hoss? My challenge, it's a call out. You want to talk politics? Let's settle it like the politicians do. We're doing a debate face to face. Two mics, one winner. Group A winner versus Group B winner. Death match. Okay. Winner takes all. Mono hermano. Okay. And yeah, dude. So you better fucking watch it, dude. And whoever wins. Whoever loses goes back to their fucking country, okay? The poor because they can't even vote. I'll take you okay? there myself. Yeah, I saved you. <laughs> will fucking escort you, fucking Pablo, okay? She'll take you right back to where the fuck is I don't is know if that's again? fair because Hoss can just come right back. <laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm yeah. staying right fucking here. <laughs> yeah, he's I'll just say, just in case we just send you to Puerto Rico. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be uh, back in a while. Okay, I'll book a trip that's right a, back. That's a round vacation. trip flight. Yeah. yeah, that's an actual vacation. Pablo, my man, you know, maybe we'll let you tap in and Zoom, okay? That's the only way you're going to get on the show, okay? So, yeah, so Pablo, we're not scared of you. We know your fucking tactics. He's probably buying bots. He's, you know, got it all his Oh, he requested family. to follow me on Instagram. I, I inclined, you know, I, I go ahead and uh, confirmed yeah. it. I follow him back. You know, this doesn't mean we're buddies. It just means I'm a respectable, honorable human. Yeah, so T-Talk, you fucking cowards, okay? No wonder PZ wants to fucking leave that fucking place, that fucking shit show. PZ, hit us up. Yeah, come on, <laughs> dude. They don't know nothing about Pokemon, you more know? True. Los Caballeros del Zodiaco, they don't know none of that, okay, bro? Nope. So come over here. We'll treat you right. You know, we got plenty of room here, plenty of mics. We got anything you want, PZ, okay? And T-Talk, dude, we're warning you, okay? If we don't see a fair... There's, we're gonna storm the fucking capital. You don't think so? We're gonna storm the fucking uh, T talk. I'm, I'm, gonna gonna <laughs> I'm gonna pull a Blitzkrieg. Okay, if you know what that is, pick this up a is World the New War II book. Utah uh, Tea Party. <laughs> <laughs> the Salt Lake Tea Party. <laughs> Let's gonna, get going. We're gonna throw the asses in the Great Salt Lake. You know what I mean? Like a couple fucking brine shrimp. You know what I mean? The SLTP. Le leave them there. Okay, so you fucking reoc, huh? We're gonna fucking. Turn you into fucking crystal if you keep it up, okay, buddy? And what about germs? What do you think we'll do with him? That piece of shit. I'll huh? just feed him some beer. He'll have a fucking stroke and, <laughs> and I'll leave him be. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Guy can't even have a fucking beer, you know? <laughs> and dude, we already told you all Pablo, all the other thought already's trying to vote against Hoss, you know? Come on, man. You guys knew the real talento, you know? You guys are all dang you guys, I know you guys <laughs> Pablo blew up all his fucking relatives in WhatsApp. Vote for me, you know? <laughs> Vote for me, Abuelita, you know? Get the fuck out of here, dude. If we if we wanted to end it, we would have put it on the BNR, you know? If we, oh, we would have. If we, we were wanting to I'm end it. I'm discretionary. Yeah, I'm not fucking Nancy Pelosi yeah. running fucking campaigns behind everybody's back, rigging the system. Absolutely not. Fair and square. Fair and fucking square, okay? So that's it. So that's what we expect. Group A against Group B, you know? Battle of the fucking... Uh, what would be the battle of? What do you want to say, Oz? Battle of the candidates, okay? Yeah, fair enough. Democrats against Republicans. So guess <laughs> who's going to fucking win? The Republicans. The Republicans, okay? Patriot fucking gang, okay? And let's not forget... <laughs> Una vez más. Y la okay? Bye, guys.